Welcome, welcome to episode 34, 34, alrighty, where are we, what's going on? We're cradling a uh, dog tamer. We just had a group hug with the dog trainer about how such a successful mission that was. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so you're out here hugging a guy who probably shit his pants three times during the night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What time of day is it? I don't remember. I think the sun was... Was the sun still up? No, it was... It would just came morning, right? I think so. It's dawn. Hmm. Yeah. We we more or less made it out of the the forest side just when when dawn was approaching. Hmm. Dodging a troll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, mission successful. Mm -hmm. I think we uh, ended with us walking towards Kansi. I don't think we resolved that, but I assume we get there. Yeah. You Safe and sound. Easily can get to Kensi. Uh, it should be um, morning by now, right? I think the sun just came up as we exited yeah. the forest. Yeah, so it's like an hour or so after sun up. Okay. Uh, how long is it from the edge of the forest to uh, Kansi? Mm. Four or five miles. Okay, so after the uh, after the walk to town, does the dog tamer look a little bit more okay? Uh, he has not spoken. No, but does he look like less scared? He looks confused and scared. Does he stink? Does anyone ever not stink in this time and place? Okay. Does does Osma stink? Probably after the things, right? Hmm. Probably. But it doesn't have like a distinct stink. Hmm. We just have the stink of burning. No, not, not even you didn't have any stink of burning flesh. You just have probably a lot of blood on you. Do I? Oh, right. Mm, you kind of cleaved someone's head off. True. Oh, yeah, I need to go buy a dagger. The reason I use the clear is because I don't have a dagger. Mm -hmm. I think I dropped it off when it went east. Um. Oh, I think you had a fancy dagger that you gave to Julius. Yeah, I I did do that, but I had it might have been that I had two daggers. I had like my old one and then a fancy one. And then I dropped off the old one and then I gave the new one to Julius and, and mm. then I was at zero. But uh I think first things first, we're gonna try to make it to uh probably the sheriff once again. And present to him the uh, the Laksana local. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you make your way to town? Sun's up. People are awake. They see you coming. They see you. Are you invisible? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so as well. No. Pretty sure. I don't think we even have the means to be invisible anymore. No, no, I think you're like recast invisible and then you had to fight so everybody's visible. Yeah. yeah. We're covered in absolutely covered in blood and smell of burnt dog hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you definitely smell more than uh, Osma. Hmm. All right, you get to Kensi and head to the sheriff's station. Knock uh, is there a knock on the door? As you know. Hey, come door. in. I open the door. Uh... Oh, 
what happened with you guys. I tap the, or I put my hand on the dog tamer's shoulder and say, uh, there's a frightened man rescued from the bandit camp. I look at him, make sure that he agrees with the term rescued. He does not agree, but he doesn't say anything else. Uh, seems that the uh, whole situation has got him a little bit shook. I don't know if... Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to uh, relieve um, traumatic stress like this. Maybe you guys have like a thing? We could splash cold water in his face. I turn to the dog tamer, see if he gives out a reaction. Not really. I got a shrug. Can you feed him for a day or two? Uh, I, I guess so. Uh, oh. What's with him? I don't know. Uh, he's the uh, dog guy from Luxana that the bandits kidnapped some time ago. Uh, he seemed to be pretty bothered by the fact that his dogs are not dead. Sure, mm, maybe like that's it? Or Slightly squints his eye at you. Mm -hmm. Well, who squints their eyes at me? The sheriff. Oh. The, yeah. What? You, you killed his dogs to rescue him? Well, I don't know if I'd call them his dogs. They're bandit dogs at that point. Can you, like, give me a bit, bit more of the, the story around this and not just Guy kidnapped bandits, dead dogs, doesn't really make too much sense. I, uh, I turn to Ruben to see how, uh, how Ruben's feeling. Um, Ruben's doing okay, I guess. He's, he's like, kind of patching up his wounds, kind of like taking off bits of his armor, kind of like swiping some of the blood and like dog bite marks. You kind of doing a terrible job at it, but kind of, yeah, kind so of patching all his wounds, just having a sit down on the on the street. So Ruben's not not looking annoyed. I'll uh, I'll share more of the story. So mm. basically uh me and uh Reuben here have a habit of uh collecting bounties and uh i'm not sure what the correct term is but we kind of dislike bandits as most people do and we kind of we previously, for another bounty, visited the uh, bandit base. And now that we knew where it was and kind of have the place mapped out, it was easy for us to kind of go in and get the get the guy because we heard he's been captured and we've seen him there before. And uh, so we just kind of go to the bandit base and try to save our man here. And I pat the dog tamer. But the... Uh, you know, the bandits, they obviously weren't happy with the idea, so they turned to fight, uh, released the dogs who came on to us. Obviously, we have to defend ourselves, and uh, uh, here we are. So the two of you went into the bandit camp and returned the kidnapped dog tamer yeah i'd like to say so i think that's that's probably the cleanest way to say it Don't well wanna... i um, think we're gonna 
try to ship him back to where he belongs and they will probably know if this is true or not so um ship him back Good way to speak of it, but I guess. Arrange travel for him to return to his hometown. I give a smile and nod. Hmm. Uh, I guess, thank you. Maybe? My nod. Anything else? Do we need to be afraid that the bandits are coming here to take back the dog timer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they had too many warriors surviving. Honestly, I'd pro I'd assume for less raids or two raids to be less common as well. Though, now that with the band that's gone, I'm not exactly sure how the orcish population is going to react. Hmm. I give a shrug. Reuven might like lightly shout from the the, the behind the group and, like, yes, uh, the, the the camp is like pretty much gone. Not gone, but most of people have run away. So you might have some bandit humans running around. A nod. Sheriff scratches his head. Ruben's truth. I don't really well, know what to make of this. Not sure exactly, but uh, I don't think it. Uh, I don't think you need our help anymore for uh, the planning of your town safety. I wish you good luck with that. Uh, but we should probably be heading off, and I turn around. And nope, nobody stops you. Sorry? Nobody stopped? Nobody stops you. You can turn around and leave, leaving the dog tamer behind. Standing nope. there. That seems oh. fine. Uh, I turn around once more. I walk up to the dog tamer. Uh, he has hair, right? <laughs> I pull out some scissors and snip a piece of his hair. Like, sorry, I'm a, uh, for posterity. As you, like, pull the head out, he reacts to the pain, but... I don't yank him super hard. I mean, you remove hair from his head, right? Yeah, with scissors. Oh, with scissors. Okay. Then he just... Slightly tries to move out of the way of the scissors. Okay. <laughs> Base. Uh, Dog tamer hair. <laughs> Dog tamer hair. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, uh, where to Ruben, now? Do you, you want to go sleep or sleepy time, Ruben? I'm a bit tired myself. I think so. Um, do you tomorrow want to check out the camp again and see if there's any uh, things we missed? I think that would be good, probably. We can now we don't have to uh, be all sneaky. We can use your uh, magics to get there real quick. Mm. Or at least you can, and I'll 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 go through woods. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So you head to the okay. inn and go sleepy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 uh. Go head to the inn, go sleep, wake up in the middle of the night, probably. All right, it's gonna be midnight. We might sleep an extra bit if you want. Oh, yeah, I think we can just chill out and yeah, take an 
extra long rest until morning. <laughs> well, it's still probably like noon, and if, so if we go to sleep, we're gonna wake as like the sun's going down or has gone down like an hour or two ago. Because we made it, we made it to the town pretty early. Hmm. Oh, sleep schedule is fucked. Mm -hmm. We just go in the night. Ruben seems fine with it. But... Yeah, I'll just prepare an infrovision. Alright, so you wake up. I do a lot of preparing. 9, 8, 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Do you prepare spells for. I prepare a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ruben might chat you up before, like, you go full spare preparing that. Uh, Kitty still has not full armor, but if we don't have, like, the resources for that, it's fine. Uh, uh, we can fix that next time we get into a city. Okay. Should be fine. Yep. Mm. And this and this. Uh, yep, I think I'm... I think this should be fine. Hopefully we don't get into combat. Huh. Oh, wait, I don't need two flies. One fly is on the rock. So I'll have a fireball just in case. Okay. Alrighty. So in the middle of the night, you two head out to the forest. Yep. Uh, uh, what's the traveling plan? I uh, probably invest us and then we go kite mode once again. Okay. Can I you presume? kite to the camp? Uh, I mean, I have fly on the rock. Yeah. Ruben is not flying, he's only invisible. He's supposed to be dragging me. Oh, okay. that's kite mode, sorry. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, you okay. forgot what the code word yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when both are flying, yeah. All right, so you head back to the night and you arrive. Uh, how long did you uh, prepare spells for? Uh, two hours plus. Three hours, three hours ish, ten, three hours and ten minutes. Okay, so you arrive as the sun comes up, probably. Unless Wait, you... really? Yeah, yeah, it takes like half a day yeah, to travel. It takes like half a day to get to the camp. Oh, then I didn't need infusion. Um, blip, blip, blip. Let's see what you come by on your way. Hmm. Well, I have mm -hmm. infrusion just in case. Mm -hmm. um, Ruven, give me a perception check and a random d20. Two on the d20. Success on the perception. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Um, as you're heading, uh, are you invisible? Yep. Both of us are invisible, yeah. Both of you are invisible, all right. Um, as you're like dragging the Usma kite through the woods, um, you seem to have been slightly uh, uh, unreceptive to what's going on around you or something. Uh, you didn't see this, but you before it becomes a problem, you hear um, two bears uh, running straight in your direction. Reuven will first, kind of assuming that with his both invisible and the elven abilities, he can mm -hmm. just slightly go to the side and let them pass. Mm -hmm. So he tries to do that. Mm -hmm. But 
I guess is also kind of worried that they might just fully go at him, but but he just yeah, kind of goes like running yeah. in your direction. You step out of the way. They kind of still running in the same direction, and then they yeah, start yeah. smelling in the air. Um, sorry, can you repeat that? Two bears. They they the they were still year. running in our direction, or still running in the same direction that we were in. Oh, they were heading in Ruven's direction. Yeah, they get really close. They are like and then ten they feet stop away from you near us. Yeah, they're ten feet away from you. Are they sniffling? Moving? They are sniffling. Where the smell is coming from? Um. Reuben just try his best to move off, uh, being as silent as he can, wearing chair leather armor, so mm -hmm. his things kind of activate. Mm -hmm. But I guess Uzma being here does. I'm flying. Yeah. But also really close to the ground. Um, Reuben will attempt to first just get out of there uh, and sneak away. Mm -hmm. They continue sniveling and they seem to they seem to know where you are. They keep following you moving. Okay. They can't see you, but they know that you are here. Mm. Uh, Ruben will try something else, I guess. This is a great way to test the magic item. We move a bit more further away, so it's more or less silent. We can be slightly silent. And Ruben drags Uzma right next to him, like mm -hmm. touching him fully, like kind of mm -hmm. semi-hugging him, then brings up his shield mm -hmm. and activates it, and mm -hmm. then moves away. Uh... Does that do anything? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Continue sniffling. Follow you. Where are you moving to? You can't communicate. You're both in a silent sphere, so... Yeah, uh, but I'm like hugging him and moving away. Mm -hmm. But even in this silent sphere, he... The, the, the bears are still following me. Mm -hmm. Wait, did, Ru did Ruben activate the thing? Yes. Did I see Ruben turn visible for a second? Uh, no. No, oh, okay. Uh, I think, okay, this is what Ruben will try, and we don't have any food on us, do we? We do. Okay. In extra dimensional space. That's so we'll, so. like, be backing off just a bit at a time until either, like, the bears move off, the bears get too close, like within melee attack distance, or uh, the silence wears off. Uh, um, I'll they also declare... continue following uh, you, and they wait, occasionally a... they swipe in the air. I have a declaration I'd like to make. Mm -hmm. I want to... I'm just kind of following along with Ruben's things, kind of trusting him. But if uh, 10 minutes go on, and they're... And... Ruben hasn't come up with a solution. I'm going to do something about the bears. Okay. But that's how long I'm following along. Mm -hmm. Ruben's friends. Ruben, you are up. Is this your... Does this the is... silence go off or are we attacked before it? Uh, I will stop you when something happens. Okay. We continue like backing off at a slow pace. Hope to not get attacked by the bears. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, growing. The they are s slowly getting more and more angry. They know that something is here and they can't. They can't. Uh, they don't uh, know okay. where it is. They, mm -hmm. I think this is what Ruben tries then. While it's still completely silent, mm -hmm. Ruben just dashes off with Ozma. You run? I run. Hoping that they cannot smell me running. They might be able to hear me running after a couple minutes have gone by, mm -hmm. but they can't 
can't really smell someone running, so he runs. Mm -hmm. Okay, you run, uh, uh, pulling Osma behind you. Just to check, Osma, did you give me the strength belt, or is it still, still on you? Uh, I think it's still on me. Okay. Ruin okay. runs. Okay. Uh, Osma, you notice that Ruven is trying to accelerate away from you, with you, yep. so you can Might follow. follow along. Yeah. Um, you run away. Um, Give me your best running away from bears check. Sure, I guess this is strength. Uh, Give me a reason why you roll the thing that you roll. Ooh. Is that Ooh. A okay, check? Uh, Ruben will. I, I, I would like to argue for dexterity as using my tumbling proficiency, I just use my hands to just drag myself forward to give me more momentum on the in the in the woods okay uh, does that uh is it that acceptable using one hand because the other one is flying a kite yes mm -hmm. sure you want to beat a 26. okay 28. all right uh you will try your best to get away from the bears putting yourself through the forest and the bears um uh, you watch what they are doing or i do okay then osma you will see that the bears uh, as you run away they don't notice that you're running all of a sudden obviously and then i think you lose sight of them because they disappear in the dark still in the night so no oh, true i think that's just it. That's just it. You don't know what's happening with the bears, but yeah. they don't follow you at the moment. Okay. Uh, once Ruben is like uh, the 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 invis or like the uh, silence has gone off, does it break my normal invis as well? Yeah. Activating yeah. magic item. Okay. You become visible after um, two more minutes uh, of running. Okay. Then Ruben will tell. Uzma to go up and do fly fly kite version two where Ruben Uzma is just way up and you I occasionally give you signals. Oh wait, actually I have the strength belt on. Can I just carry Ruben? Oh uh, how much does Ruben weigh with his equipment? Uh, I had that on me. It's uh, somewhere around uh forty four six plus a hundred and one so like less than 150 pounds um Just what would under? your encumbrance be osma if you add 140 uh, pounds 150 pounds 150 mm -hmm. uh, then i'd be at 200 a little bit less 196 okay yeah you can carry him no nope, i i as Ruben tells me the instruction, like, wait, I have a simpler, better idea. I don't know why I didn't do this before. And I kind of scoop him up mm -hmm. and just fly up and go to the bandit base. As as Osmar is, I'm assuming, like, princess carrying me. Mm -hmm. Ruben wants to go, like, b belly down and, like, Superman pose as he's only one visible. Just fly <laughs> through the air. <laughs> Superman pose. All right. You, Superman, fly uh, to the bandit camp. And arrive there about as it. Oh no, now you arrive a bit earlier because you slow down by movement. So you arrive there before the sun comes up. Yeah, probably as the sun rises in the sky. Nice. Uh, is there any people here? Give me a perception check. Okay, I'll do one as well. Oh, I'll let you do it. Womp, womp, womp. Is there anyone here, Usmar? Do you see anyone? I can't see anyone at all. Okay. Um, should we go down and, and look through the buildings? I think so, yeah. That's what we came here to do, brother. Yeah, I think we should uh, at least take uh, the the gear that Julius left us. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Going around. You see yeah. the aftermath of the fight. The burnt corpses. I feel uh, proud. A few blown up tents. Well, Actually, I think as Aruvan sees like the blown up trees, uh, he go like, um, "Uzmar, if you um, can, can, can you look through for now? I, I would like to um, help these trees." Uh, I guess. A little bit weirded out by Reuben's tree love. I go check. Uh, I think it was this. This tent first. Mm -hmm. Do I find the stuff? Uh, in this tent you will find the ogre bag. Yeah. Nice. How should that weigh? Uh, huh, good question. <laughs> uh, wah. Wah. The uh, there's a bunch of trash in the yoga bag, so um 60 64 uh, oh, uh 45 60 64 77 85 93 103 pounds okay i drop out a water keg to make room in my sorry what did you 130 103 103. Yeah. Okay, I drop out a water keg to make some room. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't I, need to, but I'll do it anyway because I want to be safe. I'll give you the list of what's in the bag. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll look at that later. I'll, uh... Uh, the next place I check is the house over here. Uh, also in the bag. No, there's one more thing in the bag. I'm not super inspecting the bag right now, so. Oh, you just take the bag. Yep. Okay, then it's is following five along. more pounds then in the bag. Five more pounds? Mm -hmm. 108. Okay. Then the next place I check is where we killed the leader. Uh -huh. Ruben sent Kitty to follow us now. All right. Well, as if the house looks like it's been rummaged through, like the leader is looted already. Um, it doesn't seem like there has been much going on in this camp since you left. Okay. I mean, uh, it's been uh, yeah, a bit, a bit more than twenty-four hours since you blew this shit up. So, yeah. Is the uh, leader still wearing all of his armor and shit? Uh, Alex's corpse is on the top floor, headless. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I cast a thick magic and look around the corpse and the room and everything. Um. As you look at the corpse, uh, your detect magic would pick up that there is m two magical things on the floor downstairs. Okay, I go find things. Hmm. Okay. Um, downstairs in the uh, map room, there is a book that's uh, slightly radiates magic and then there is one flask with oil in it book and magic oil mm -hmm. uh, the book um, looking at it the book um, has the insignia of the military guild oh okay and do you open it up or anything uh yep Seems to be a spare book. Yep. Uh, but do I mark it down as five pounds or three pounds? Is it fifty uh, or hundred pages? Five pounds. Five pounds. And then the oil is how much does it weigh? One pound. Okay. And that's all the magic here. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me double check, but I think that's everything. I think my detect magic lasts for a pretty long time, so I'm just kind of walking around, scanning over the camp. Mm -hmm. Lasts for uh, 12 minutes, and I have two castings. 
Mm -hmm. So I'll just kind of walk around. Perhaps scan everything. Yeah, uh, you look around, but I don't think you'll find anything else. Okay. Uh, is the livestock still here? Yes. Uh, cows and what are those other things? I think pigs. Oh yeah, okay, pigs. Is this a dog? No, these are calves. Oh, okay. Uh, my recoil book and the thing. Okay. I mean, since we have time, I'll go check inside all the tents as well. And mm -hmm. See if I find anything cool. Um, some random stuff. Most of these tents seem to be just uh, normal living places. Mm -hmm. You can steal as many clothes as you want to. No, I'm oh, good. Mm, other than that, I think there's not much to find. Okay. Uh, um, there, on uh, on Alex's corpse, there would be a sigil ring, obviously. Oh, true. Well, if I care, I haven't done anything with the other ones. But if I got this one, then I'd have the gauntlet of sigil rings, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, wait, what sigil rings do I have? I have Luke's, Rachel's. I think the one. Do I have Lenny's? I should probably have Lenny's as well. But I guess I don't. Uh, that one ring I gave away as proof. Uh, I Luke, Rachel, and Alex, probably the ones that you would have, and Benny's yeah, cool. given away. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, I did. I literally have Luke's ring. I, I think I read it as well. And um, if you took the sigil ring from the wizard and the necromancer cave. Oh, I don't remember. I probably didn't do that. Hmm. Since I don't have it written down. Uh, I guess why not? Just get get all the rings. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then after I'm done loading, I'll walk to Ruben and say, all right, well, I don't do much of anything interesting here. Picked up some rings, uh, a magic book, and some oil. I'm not sure what that does exactly, but it radiates magic, so. Oh, did I get the... Can I roll for the uh, school? Uh, what? Can I roll for the school of the magic things that I... For the oil? The oil? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what my roll is. Uh, it's a fail. Okay. As much I can say. Okay. Ruben is probably using his two magic swords to garden. Mm -hmm. um, plucking away some of the burnt bits of the nearby trees and mm -hmm. bringing some of the ash to the other other trees to let them grow easier trying to fix his friend's mistake mm -hmm. yeah is there any uh, random things that you want to loot from this camp or you're just quickly looking for valuables maybe the special buildings like this one this one here and the the this one here. Do you want to dig up the corpse? Probably not. That seems like an awful lot of effort. You want what to corpse? dig up what? The corpse of the other leader guy. I. Hmm. Ruben seems maybe a bit uncomfortable with that. I, I guess we can, if you really want to. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I really want to. It would be, uh, I don't know. It's probably not worth the effort. Do you think he would have had magic stuff that he would, that beside the axe that we already got? 
Wait, I want to see how much dirt can detect magic see through. Uh... So I'm assuming the axe is on you, right? As as you're the one wielding the the the, the strength belt. I have no axe on my sheet right now. I did pick it up, but I also didn't put on my sheet. So I think we rushed through it. Uh, uh, DM, if that is fine, can you tell us uh, how much it weighs? Someone can have the axe. Uh, question is, would you have brought it back to the camp with you, or would it have been left in town? I think Ooh, that's, be, yeah, yeah. probably left it in our uh, hotel room. Hmm. Was there anything interesting in the in the blacksmithy or the? Oh no, it's just a room? shitty blacksmith uh, shop and a shitty brewery. Okay. With random equipment, you can get some more spices if you want to. Mm. Oh, look around the grave to see, like, to estimate how deep it is. I don't know if I can do that. I, I try to look at how much uh, other dirt there is around. No, I can see it poured back in. <laughs> Is there a good way to estimate how deep a no. thing is? It's always just a small uh, hill above the ground, the amount of dirt that the corpse is pushing away, or the coffin is pushing away. I mean, I have an 18 strength belt and a shovel. How mm -hmm. long do I think it would take me to pick up a grave? Less than an hour? Mm, depends on how deep it is. Okay, I'll, how long would it take me to dig three feet? If I don't want to dig like a grave, I just want to dig like a hole in the center of where I think the grave is. I think that's doable pretty quickly. Okay, I'll do that then. Mm -hmm. uh, you dig for an hour or so. And we'll hit the coffin. Nice, is it stone? Is it wood? Yes. Okay. I look over my shoulders to see what Ruben's doing. Ruben's think... either busy with gardening or going to the to the animals and like helping out the I think the Ruben wants to save the animals somehow. He's not sure how he's gonna do it, but he wants to at least let the animals roam or something. And I think to myself, is this really worth it? And, uh, I mean, I think so. it was just nice to have it, to have it be on record that all of the bandits are dead. So. Nobody ever knew about these bandits. Oh, really? Was there not a bounty on this guy? No. Oh. Only the raid leaders. But if there's a coffin, he could still be wearing magical stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll 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 dig it out. I'm just he have, he might have that. I've defiled the corpse of a wizard. Why would I care about defiling the corpse of a bandit? I dig it out. Which wizard corpse did you defile? The one in the uh, where I got the con amulet and uh, the ring. Oh, yeah, the grave robbing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the wizard. <laughs> Is it not a wizard? <laughs> you have no idea what it was. <laughs> I mean, I assume it was a wizard. It was a, a sarcophagus that you opened up and stole things from a mummy inside. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it was. It was two, to be precise, because you open up two sarcophagi sarcophagi um uh also i don't want to like dig like super super big to like uh uh like dig the entire grave out since i'm wearing the strength belt mm -hmm. i want to like dig a little bit around the hole that i first have and then i'll just try to break the coffin mm -hmm. if it to see if it's like breakable obviously if it's too hard i won't but i'm willing to even like break a shovel on and i have it Giga strength. So I just try to break it and then I will just pull the guy out from the hole. Yeah. You actually, can. wait, is yeah. it actually easier because it's a coffin. So I can probably like lift up the lid somehow mm -hmm. with that shovel as leverage. So yeah, I don't pull out the 
How can I open it up? Yeah, give me a, a check. Tenth check? Mm -hmm. I don't know how coffins work. Now how quickly you can find a good way to solve the problem. Uh, yeah, it takes you like two more hours or so. To... What the fuck? Yeah, you know, you have to find, you have to dig to a side of the coffin, like you kind of uh, hit somewhere in the middle of it. Mm. And then you have to uh, open, I dig to the side, then you have to somehow get the coffin slightly rotated um, to get the dirt off of it because all the dirt is pressing on top of the lid. So it takes a bit more time than you first expected okay. it. Um, it's not, not a hole in the ground where there's air all around the coffin, so you can't just yeah. easily open it up. Um, but then you get some leverage and are able to break the lid. And I you can the see corpse. the legs of uh, the legs wrapped in some sort of a blanket. Um, and you can wrench the corpse out of the broken lid and pull it out here. Yep. I'll uh, do my second casting of Detect Magic and lock him over. Hmm. Oh, There's nothing magical on the corpse. Oh, God. Fucking wasted. Uh, does he have a ring? Uh, he has a sigil ring, yeah. Yeah, I take that shit. Axeman sigil ring. Uh, actually, when I uh, when I dig it out, I exclaim loudly. I'm not super loud, but I exclaim. Ah, oh, as I've just uh, spent unnecessary effort. All right. Uh, yeah. Ruven, you are tending to the livestock. Yeah, I think Ruven would like to, at the very least, at least like lead them out. There's a, There's gate. a gate. You can open the gate. Yeah. And let yeah. him wander around. He's just kind of thinking right now. If he leaves them out like this, they're kind of screwed. <laughs> But at the same time, it's probably at least better than staying in this pen and starving. Mm -hmm. So they either go outside and die or they stay inside and die. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think with Ruben's uh, understanding of nature, he would let them out. Yeah. Okay. At least give them the mini minuscule mini chance of, I don't know making out of the forest <laughs> let him die to the troll instead of starvation you mean yeah exactly yeah. all right but, uh, you... he lets them continue on the na natural cycle of things mm -hmm. nature right. can be a bit you know cruel at times yeah nature is giga cruel at all times And yeah. Mm -hmm. Does Ruben see a, a, just a dirty, dusty Ozma coming back? No, probably. Yeah, uh, it's raining obviously today, so you kind of. Uh, Mud. Muddied up, yeah. Wet. Dripping. Uh, do you think it would be time to start heading out then? Or do you have further plans? What? Uh, do you still have something you'd like to do? Or should we start making our way out? Um, no, no, I, I let the animals out and, fix, and uh, at least uh, help the trees. So... Uh... Um. Am I still invisible, or did shoveling break in this? Uh, during this action here, you definitely broke in this. Okay. I hold my arms out for Ruben to... Uh... Climb um, on? Oh, yeah, yeah, Ruben climbs on. Yeah. 
Bruno's not shamed at all. This is fun for him. So he uh, first takes Kitty on him, and then he climbs on Uzma. Mm -hmm. And then um, I go fly mode. You head back to Kenzie. Or do you fly somewhere else? Uh, is Kenzie e equidistant from. No, yep. Go to Kenzie, I think. I mean, Kenzie's the place where all your shit is, so. Oh, true. Yeah. All right. Um, flying over the forest, uh, nothing tries to attack you. There's no flying bears or anything, so pretty smooth sailing. And you arrive in Kenzie in the late afternoon. Oh, I uh, good stuff, I guess. Not. As uh, not as much stuff as I would have hoped for, but it's something. What say you, Ruben? Get some early rest. Uh, Shall we head off tomorrow morning? Yeah, I really want to go get a bath and go through Torrega. Me too. Yeah, let's quickly. Um. Take a second to make mental note about where all your stuff is spread at the moment. Um, you have one horse in Tarega. No, I or... think we we didn't we go get the horse. So I both of your so horses believe... are in Tarega. No. Uh, in e Kenzie. Sorry. Oh yeah, you you went to Tarega to study. When Julius was in the jungle getting murdered? No, uh, I studied in Cannes. Oh, no. No, while Julius was in the jungle, I studied in Cannes. Eh? And then okay. we wanted to go get the oh. horse. I, what, what did we want to go get the horse? We had the whole the emo phase. Yeah, the whole emo of, phase, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah but we wanted to get the horse for some reason. Oh. But um, we I'm pretty sure you, we just went with your horse there. And uh -huh. then we came back each with our own houses. Yeah. I don't remember why, but we definitely did do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so both of your horses are in Tarika. Uh, are with you. Uh -huh. uh, Julius's yeah. horse and Jeeves, are they with you as well? Are they in Tarika or are they still in Lobe? They're probably still in Lobe, right? Um... Um, it, no, you so. remember you took a whole like whole the whole crowd of horses to Torrega. Wait, did I? I feel like you did. Maybe okay. not. I don't remember. Uh, you went. Uh, Reuven and Julius went out of Lobe towards Port Green, ran into the bandits. Then, Reuven, you went back to Lobe. Uh huh. Grab Osma. And then we like kind of followed them to here. They yeah. went to Nolly. We went like this to Torrega to Kansi. They went to Kansi. Mm -hmm. uh, and we dropped did you off bring? most of our horses. But we either, so the two horses either are in Low Bay or in Torrega. We can say it's in Low Bay, so we take like the less good thing for ourselves because we forget. Roll a d20. When, I mean, Julius's horse would have been with. With Julius? As you were going, going to Port Green? You had horses yes. when you were on your way to Port Green because you. Yes, I think. I think they kind of. The bandit. Yeah. Do we see Julius's horse here? I think Do Julius left the horse with you and went on foot. Yeah. Okay. So would you have brought Julius's horse and Chiefs from Lobe with you on your way to Kensi? I think not. Yeah, probably not, because mm -hmm. our original plan was to go through Tarega. So I don't think we'd, we would have been riding or carrying extra horses. Mm -hmm. So, Jeeves and uh, Julius's horse are in Lobe still. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, did anyone steal the axe? The super magical axe? Oh, uh, no. Axe is in your room. Nice. Uh, do you want to say one more day in Kensi or do you grab your stuff and ride to Torrega? Okay, so I'll do that today. It's early in the afternoon. If you jump on your horses, you have 14 miles. You can arrive in Torrega. Mm. Around midnight if you want to. Uh, but things aren't gonna be open, so might as well sleep here. All right. I don't think we're too worried about saving an extra day. Mm -hmm. So you go to sleep and wake up the next morning. It is rainy as fuck. Hmm. I do some stop apparently. Uh... We still haven't turned in our mission of rescuing the peeps, right? No, we haven't. We'll do that soon. Soon, TM. Which mission didn't you turn in? The, the, the necromancer stuff. You didn't turn in the necromancer stuff? You never got the money Tanner, for it. Tanner wasn't there, so... Uh, oh, yeah. Left. All right. There was, the, there was the loser there. So, technically, these points are still open as well. Okay. Rot row. Rot row. Uh, I, I already gave magic. them to you. And I need... Oh, I have to give uh... you even more. What the fuck? I don't know what third level spells I need, so I'll just take a ply, just in case. Ply is always good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So do I want a tongues just in case? No, why would I need tongues? No idea. Yep, I think that's that. And then we make our way downtown. Alrighty. So you make your way downtown. You head to Toriga. You arrived uh, before noon. You are wet to the bone as you get here. Uh, do you give the belt to me this time as well? No. Uh, are you asking for it? Uh, because if I'm carrying the axe, I'll need it to not be encumbered. Okay. Uh, you, you pick up the axe. I want to give it. I give the belt. How much did it weigh? Two. Gotcha. And how much does the magic axe weigh, DM? Uh, oh. The magic axe... Uh, none of you ever checked if it is magical. Just finding that uh, out. Glowed in magic, right? I would not know when it did. Feel like it did. Yeah, you, you feel like it is fine. Maybe I'm remembering. Yeah. I'm quite certain it did, but okay. All right. Um. A two-handed axe weighs. I have no idea because it's not on this. So I actually have to go somewhere else. Um, take six pounds for now. And then I... Six pounds? Okay. Let's see if I can quickly find it. Shouldn't there be like a dialogue oh, master weapons chat? All right. Why did I? I mean, for so I came up with this thing for some reason, and then... I'm 
then I have no idea where I got it from. Brilliant. I remember why I think it's because you described it as being very well made. That's why I think it's magic. Okay. It is a I don't very well made two handed axe. That is true. Somewhere on here. Uh, you had to move your stuff. You had to trigger. You can continue on your way while I'm looking for this thing. Uh, what do you mean continue on our way? We go to Honeypot and get bathed. Alrighty. Um, you pay your entrance fee, head into the Honeypot and... I'll pay uh, an extra gold for the bigger room. Okay. I'm assuming you're paying for me as well. Yep. And yeah, I think we have a great old time. As long as no one's there, Ruben's probably, probably going to bring out Kitty as well. We're going to have a good mm -hmm. old bath, bath time. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, am I brain lagging super hard? I thought there was something that I wanted to identify. Uh, oh, I didn't do the black rock. Wait, did I fail the black rock or did you I not do it? At all? the black rock the last time you tried to. Uh, I have the magic oil. Wait, are you starting to identify things? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I think for me, there's both of the swords still. Did I, did I fail the sword? Or did uh, I only do one property? You identified the sword and you found out that it deals 2d6 fire damage. On yeah, but did I did I try for a second property and fail or did I just try for that one property? I think you only tried for that one property and then you yeah, failed. Yeah, the second things. you fail, I have it written down as you failed. Did you, did you fail a second property on the sword or did you fail other things? I have no idea, but I think I should start keeping track of these. At least on mm -hmm. my notes, I've had uh, first is ability to set on fire target, second is fail, and that's the new magic sword. Okay. The okay. bucklet is finished, the ring of blinking is finished, the strength belt is still a fail. Uh, the plus one sword I haven't tried yet. Yeah. Wait, I feel like there was something that I had to identify. There's, I think the, oh, the bucklet is finished, as I just said. All right. Uh, Two hundred eggs weighs ten pounds. Ten pounds, okay. I guess I guess you can check the. Uh, Ruben will give you the, <laughs> the the axe like it's magic, but might not be. Uh, there's his there's Ruben's new leather armor. Uh... If you can write that down. Oh, right, that I haven't tried. Good one. Reuben, can I have your armor, please? Yep. Reuben's leather armor. Okay, that I want to try. And I think that's all from me, at least. I think you still have many magic, but that's on my character sheet that, like, is kind okay. of magic. Reuben's leather armor. Uh, Sorry, Both what? my swords. The then, belt. What do you mean, both of them? Did I fail one? Uh, oh, right, you haven't leveled up yet. Yeah, sorry. Sword plus one. Uh, and then there's a meme identified. You still failed the strength belt too. Uh, yeah, that's all from me, Chief. Yep, I think that's. So... Uh, and the axe. I think you already got that. Axe. Okay. I'll go. Uh, I'll go around shops. Actually, I have, I have Reynard's shop, so I'll go to Reynard. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll ask Reynard if he has a detect magic prepared for today. Uh, he does. Uh, can you check if this axe is magical? Uh, he will cast spell and let you know that the axe is not magical. 
Oh, okay. Uh, could I have a pearl? Uh, you can buy one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I buy a pearl. And actually, now that I'm here, can I can I identify in the Great Art Shop? Uh, is there an identify room here? You would have to uh, use the main room. The main okay, I just room. go to the honeypot then. No. No. Okay. So I'll be off. Oh, no. right, the wand. I want to do the wand as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I go and I prepare four items. Okay. Which items do you prepare? Uh, Reuben's leather armor. That one we got off the bandits. Mm -hmm. The plus one sword. Mm -hmm. The wand and then the the infamous shard that eats magic. The infamous shard that eats magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right. All right. Um. First, I'm trying for the leather armor. Mm -hmm. As you try to prepare the infamous shard that eats magic. Uh, the a ritualistic preparation of the shard doesn't work. Okay. It seems to continuously interject with magical auras as you try to eliminate interferences and things. Okay. Fuck the shard then. I toss it in my extra vegetable space. Mm -hmm. And then I just do the other three items. All right. Uh, this is the next day. The so, next day? Yeah, you arrive around noon in Chiriga. You take a bath and shit, and then you don't have eight hours of preparation and things. That doesn't work on this day. Okay. So Did you borrow Ruben's next day. necklace? No. If this is the next day, then can I use this day to uh, read magic, go through the magic book? Do you have read magic prepared? Yep. Um, if you think so, yeah. Uh, I will give you... Like, I only have one of those. <laughs> I just realized that I gave you the book that is not uh, <laughs> digitalized. So, um, that's like a really old book. <laughs> No, because we were supposed to get it way earlier. Um, this book is that is like complete random chance that you end up with this. Oh really? I thought this was the one that the uh, bandits took when they raided the caravan. Yeah. How's that random chance then? Uh, because the raid on the caravan was never supposed to happen. No. Oh. Just because you. You were that lazy with killing bandits. Excuse us. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? Are we supposed to be the gods of this kingdom? Like what? I'm just saying, like I had to come up with this. And to just happened as it happened, but the other spellbook that you just found, like Red Rachel's spellbook, obviously you were supposed I, to find, but the other one. I don't think I have Red Rachel's spellbook. Well, you have it now. Wait, isn't Red Rachel's spellbook oh. on Julius somewhere? If you ever checked the Ogre Sack in your bag, oh. which I assume you would do at some point, you would find a spellbook in there. Okay. That is magic, magic, magic. Okay. Uh, I will just read to you the spells that are in the uh, military spellbook, and then you know if you have anything, if there's anything that you don't have yet. Um, there's alarm, protection from evil, armor. I don't have alarm. I don't have protection from evil. Is that alarm invocation or uh, abjuration? Uh, you don't have alarm. Isn't alarm in the other spell books you have. Oh, I don't know what the other spell book has. Uh, 
shows in Spellbook One has alarm. Yeah. Oh okay. But is it uh, abjuration or invocation? I think I think you're barred. Yeah. No, but there's an invocation version of the spell. And it's even PHB. Wait, is Abjuration the one that's uh, Koibu? Alarm. Abjuration, Evocation. It actually has two schools in the um. PHB. Then it is yeah. both schools, and you can have it if you can use okay. Evocation. Abjuration, I mean, Alarm and. Okay, again. Alarm, protection from evil, armor, detect magic, read magic, grease, light, mount, sleep, wall of fog, magic, missile, protection from poison, wizard lock, melf's acid arrow, and web. Uh huh. That was uh, Rachel's book? No. Or that that the military was book? the military book, which belongs to. The name would be in there somewhere. Uh, a wizard called Arne. Okay. I give it to Reinhard. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a military guild spellbook, so you probably would want to return it to the military guild. <laughs> and then we have read Rachel's spellbook. Uh, I will read again. Uh, alarm, armor, detect magic, and large grease hypnotism. I don't have hypnotism, but I'm not interested. Uh, read magic, silence, sleep. Uh, alter self, bind, continual light, display self, invisibility, knock, ray of enfeeblement, wizard lock, melf's acid arrow, and hold person in haste. Okay. What's up with everyone liking this melf's acid arrow spell? This spell sucks. I like it for weird reasons. AKA destroying items. You can destroy items with it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, maybe if like the acid like burns or something? Mm -hmm. It doesn't like explicitly state it in the spell though. Mm. Anyways, it's a cool spell, okay. No, only the spells that I like are cool. It's the coolest second level uh, damage spell. By far. Uh, no, not really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these are the two spell books. Um, then we can I give go. both of them too, Reynard. And then let's jump until the next day. Uh, it's still raining quite a lot. And you can do your identifications. So I, uh, I chill out for the most of the day because I know that I'm going to be out. So I want to time to identify so I can go to sleep after it. Mm -hmm. So I chill out, go hang out with Ruben or do mm -hmm. something during the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to uh, before noon to do random stuff and yep. then go start your ritual. Mm -hmm. And what's coming first? Uh, Ruben's leather armor. Ruben's leather armor. Your chance to identify is? 60%. 60%. 96 and above is a wild. You fail the armor. Fail. Mm. Uh, then I will go for, uh, I'll go for the wand. I'll try to see if I'll there are to... more properties on the wand. Sorry? You try to see if there are more properties on the wand than you have. Uh, let me think. What do I want to do here? No, I want to re-identify the second property. Hmm. Can I do that this level or do I need to level up for that? I, th I think you have to level up. Okay, then I go for more properties on the wand. Alright. Uh, how many properties do you have on the wand? 
three properties. Three properties. Um, you succeed on identifying the fourth property, which is the ability to cast Wall of Fire. And it burns, burns, burns. Okay. Uh, it expends two charges as well. Two charges? Two charges, yeah. Uh, and then I do this plus one sword. The plus one sword. Have you ever identified that the sword is plus one? No. Okay. You fail anyways, so. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I all my all my creatures roll attacks like one to four, and then your identify is always sixty plus. I I don't know why. Okay, I think I'll read wall of fire. Wall of fire. Yeah. One twenty foot square per level. That's a pretty uh, decent I think area. I have to give you the exact properties. Um, it can... Um, it has a special wall of fire, I think. Oh. Uh, it can make a line uh, with 1,200 square feet. Uh, they last for six rounds and cause 2d6 plus six points of damage if touched. Wait, wait, wait. I'm uh, just gonna read this down and if you need it, we can. Or do you want to write it down? Uh, are you gonna like send it to me or? Um, once you it... have finally finished identifying this item, I will give you a text. Well, then I wanna write it down. Okay. So was it for 2d6 plus six? 2d6 plus 6 points of damage if touched, 2d4 if within 10 feet, 1d4 if within 20 feet. 2d6 plus 4 if in 10 feet? Uh, 2d4. 2d4 mm -hmm. plus 4. No, no if plus, in just 2d4. Plus what? Nothing plus, just 2d4. Wait, what was the last one then? 1d4 if within. If, if, in, if, Within 20 feet. 20 feet. And 6 d6 plus 6 if touching. 2 d6 plus 6. 2 d6 plus 6. Mm -hmm. It lasts for 6 rounds. Six and it has rounds. a second mode. You can also cast a ring of fire. Wait, how long you. is the line? Uh, it has a, a area of effect of 1200 square feet. Feet squared. Okay, and then a second casting version mm -hmm. is ring. A ring of fire around yourself. Uh, around caster. The circle has 25 feet in diameter. 25 foot diameter. Mm -hmm. Which is really interesting. And the same damages. Mm hmm. God, this shit sucks ass. Uh, does it have any ones, kind of just twos, or any dumb shit like that? Nope. Why would I ever use this rather than fireball? Well, if I think they're gonna uh, be in the thing for multiple rounds. Yeah. Or if you want to lock something down, or if you want to set something on fire. I don't know if I'm gonna lock something down with a wall of fire. Or if you want to create a troll that is on the ground already. What's the casting range? Hmm. Is it 60 yards the same as spell? I think it's like the 60 yards, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. What goes next? Uh, I go to sleep. So uh, all the items? What? 
Oh yeah, you, since you don't have the X. Yeah, because that wasn't magical. Dumb axe. This dumb axe, true. And then I go snore. Mm -hmm. It's raining. It's. Yeah. Uh, is Rufin up to anything during this day? Or? I don't think so. I think he's chilling, taking it easy, resting from his wounds. All right. So we jump to the next day. Do we get any healing? Uh, you would have gotten... But you're, you're not full HP. Oh no. Oh right, because you took down in five. Um, one, two, three, four hit points by now. Thank you. This healing stuff is a rough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I buy uh, two more identified pearls from Reynard. Mm -hmm. And uh, go look for El Ruben, I guess. But can we take a break? Break arena. Yep, we can take a break. Okay. Right. Break, break, break. Brip.
but nobody else. I'm alone. Hey yo. Oh, hey. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I ate too much. Mm. Mm -hmm. Was it at least good food? You ate too much? The part that wasn't too much was was good. Mm. The rest of it was not so great. <laughs> But you can't really uh, keep pommes around, so you have to eat them or throw them away. And throwing them away is also sad, so... Well. Yeah, throwing away food is sad. Yep. Hello? Hello. Bibbidi Bobby. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. What's with the MMs? MMs? Mm -hmm. The wrapper? No, oh, the things that you're trying to eat. I'm not eating anything. Nope. Okay. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. It's just ice. Just ice. I. Why do you need eyes? Because my stuff hurts. Oh. Too much kickboxing. No, it's a good amount. Just need to put a little bit of effort into recovery. <laughs> okay. No more kickboxing. No, more kickboxing tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow you can kickbox us if you want to. But Thank now you. you have to go talk to Ruben. Go talk to Ruben. Uh... Yeah, I go honeypot in the mm -hmm. morning. Yeah, you are at the honeypot. Oh, no, morning. wait. Before, while I buy the things from. Uh, things from Reynard. I also buy armor component pieces. Uh -huh. I think we said that they cost 10 gold. Something, something, so, yeah. So I'll buy 10 of them. All right. And I'll prepare armor. Uh, armor. Cured leather, leather thing. Mm -hmm. Ten. No, wait, I already had one, so eleven. Okay. Okay. Uh, you cast armor open. on anyone? I uh, open the honeypot door, hope I see Ruben. Probably, yeah. Ruben's there, sitting. No. Uh, probably drinking tea, I imagine. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I said opposite to Ruben. Uh, and ask. So, uh, what now? Well, we have our horses still in lobby. That we should probably get. Uh, or did you want to stay here for time again? We probably we needed to. You got uh, the bandit leader head, right? So we should give that away. And talk to uh, Tanner. Mm -hmm. And those things can be done in lobby. Should we go there for a bit? Uh, sure. Yeah, I, I, I suppose. Did you want to do something else? I don't know. I, I just sit down for a day or two. But, I mean, 
I know you get worried of uh, animals, so maybe maybe we should rest in low bay then. I would like that. Also, that head is probably going to rot quite quickly, no? Uh, nope, the uh, space that it is in it does not contain air, so... He shakes his head with <laughs> magic. Uh, but... I, 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 I read, I would probably don't want to hold on to a head for super long. Shall we be off then? Okay. Uh, how do you want to go? Like always or? Horses? Uh, straight through? Uh, we, sure, do we, why not? Do we make it to Little Bay in one whole day? How, what's your horse normal movement rate? I think we need to make it, make it to Nolly and then the next day. I think yeah. that's how it's planned before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could maybe if we push it, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I, I think, yeah, the forest stops our movement rate. So. Yeah. Also rain season stuff like yeah. Um, do you uh, let uh, Raynaud know that you're leaving? Oh yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. But do you tell him where you're going? Uh, we are gonna go pick up some horses. I'll probably be back in town. That's some point. I mean, I don't want to promise anything, of course, but... Do you tell him that you're going to Lupe? Yeah, what, I think what I said is what I tell him. That we're going to go get some... We're going to go get our horses. Uh, I'll be back in town probably pretty soon, but... Uh, I don't want to promise anything. Okay. All right. And then you head out. You can get to Nolly in the stay pretty easily. Uh, and I think we I'm not taking the axe now that I learned it's not magic with me anymore, so probably just leave it somewhere. We're probably just leaves it with you, uh Uzma. Uh I have no idea where I put the axe then. Uh, I, I guess I give it to the honeypot owner and <laughs> ask, uh, can you dispense of this for me? You can sell it if you like. Yeah, sure. I nod. Get the man. And, uh, and we head out. All right. You get to Nolly. On the way to Nolly, you... Oh, and Ruben has his leather armor now, of course. Mm -hmm. Not holding on to that. Ooh. Can someone roll me a D100? You do it. Ooh. World's fastest D100 roller. All right. Um, yeah, you get to Nolly, no problem. Ah, uh, based. What's the other 15 that you wanted to roll? Oh, unlucky. <laughs> I, uh, once we make it to our, uh, rooms, I'll show out some. Oh, fuck. What is this, Uzmar? What is. Uh, I don't have very much gold on me. But, I mean, I, I can pay for a room. You don't have any gold on you by any chance, Ruben. I do. I have full, full, more, full bag. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that should, uh, do for. Sometime. Do you want me to give you this bag full of uh, shiny? Uh, I can ponder and think. He just yeah, you, you're taking too much time. He just gives you fifty gold. Okay, I take it. And I go pay. I go pay the guy a gold for <laughs> me and Ruben's stay. You take separate rooms. Yep. Uh, I wanna go into Ruben's room and cast armor on his cat. Okay. Ooh. Did we get any HP for this day, DM? Uh, one, yeah. What? What? Uh, can Keep we... traveling. Oh, okay. Yep. Never mind. 
And so you Kitty come has to the craft. 14 out of 14. Very okay. cool. Uh, yep, and then uh, I'll uh, prepare a detect invis onto the rock the next morning. I detect invis on the rock. Ah. All right, you prepare <laughs> detect invis on the rock, and then you make your way through the forest. Uh huh. I'm looking for the dragon. for the dragon um, both of you give me perception checks hold on I just Ruben and Kitty are up front having just the time of their lives leaving the no. leaving the horses to Osma <laughs> Osma give me AD20 20 Wendy. Oh. Unlucky. What do you mean unlucky? Uh, if I had rolled a 20, that would have been fun. But if you're rolling a 20, it's not that fun. No. That's the unlucky part. Um, yeah. Um, running through the forest, you hear a knocking noise a really quick knocking noise it's the first time you have heard this here like something's hammering against wood really I fast hear it. you both hear it is so it sound like a woodpecker yeah okay maybe it is one maybe it's not it's hard to say but it sounds like one mm -hmm. I try to just look around for a woodpecker. Yeah. But I won't make any detours to find it. Okay. So you continue towards Lubei. Mm -hmm. All right. And you arrive in Lubei, I think. What's this? Oh, actually, it takes it a whole day to get there. Yeah. Did I see the woodpecker? No. What? Did we see the woodpecker? Yes. What? It was a beautiful bird. Very, very... Reuben was nigh brought the tears. Uh, it's rare to see them. So... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you arrive in Lubei at nightfall. Do you head to the LLL or anything else you want to do before that? Let me just go LLL. You go to the LLL and probably take a bath again because it has been raining. So mm -hmm. you're wet and kind of cold and it's nice to take a bath, put on the bath robes and just chill around a bit. So. Mm -hmm. And then time to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to wake up the next morning. You are back in Lobe, the city of your dreams. Three L's. Deep in the LL, yeah. Uh, let's, let's, yeah. What's the plan? Well, I haven't thought of buying prepared spell list for a while, so I wanted to think about this a little bit. Ruben goes to check on the horses. How are the horses doing, DM? They are a bit uh, underworked. They have been in the stable for quite a while now. The stable boy is taking good care of them, but they clearly need to be ridden and moved. Okay. Um, Vroom probably goes for the morning, goes like uh, for a run with the horses then probably. Okay. While, while Uzma takes his sweet time to learn spells. Just, just goes on a walk with the horses. Mm -hmm. Do you go outside of town or do you run through town? I think we stay in that like clearing area mm -hmm. uh, of uh, just uh, around Low Bay, so it's easy for horses to run. Okay, have a, have a good time. All right. 
Yeah, we run around a bit and return two hours later or something. Yep. And was my starting learning space. Mm -hmm. Learning, 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 learning. Uh... Yeah, I can't think of anything. I think that is good enough for now. Good enough for now. All right. When you can't choose fireball, always the answer. Mm -hmm. Um, Usmar, uh, do you want to go to see if Tanner is here in town? In no, class? I think getting responsibilities done straight out of the way is probably best. All right. Do you head to his house or to the bounty office? Sorry? Do you go to his house or do you go to the bounty office? The bounty office. All right. So you head to the bounty office. Do it I is... even know where his house is? Yeah, Wait. you brought his family back. Oh. I mean, maybe you don't remember, but you were there. I feel... I don't know if my memory is wrong, but I feel like we brought the family back to the bounty office because I feel like there were other no. people there. I'm pretty sure we went to the I'm like 95% sure we went to the house. Because there was a whole scene of like, we're kind of awkwardly all in, in the doorway while they were like having a family reunion. And we kind of just, just sneaked away, let them be. I feel like that happened in the bunny office. Uh, but you I are might wrong. Be wrong. Um, okay, you head to the bounty office. Uh, you knock, you go inside, and there's behind the desk sitting Tanner, who looks up and says, Osma, I'm Tanner, so happy to see you. My man, what's good? I never really got to thank you properly after last time we met, and then we, we left town to actually travel to my wife's family this time for real. Uh, we're oh, out of town for two weeks. It was, it was quite the, quite the adventure for all of us. I'm so glad that you managed to find them and return them unharmed, mostly. Uh, they've, they've been doing okay? They're doing fine, obviously. Being kidnapped and caged in a necromancer cave leaves its marks. I guess. Yeah. Uh, that's rough. But other than that, they are mostly fine. Oh, well, it's uh, definitely not the worst case scenario. Um, he, he like, as I said, not the worst case scenario, he slightly, uh, Shudders a bit as a thought crosses his mind. But, uh, uh, you know, part of the uh, celebration for us is, of course, get making sure that all of the, uh, all of the, um, all of the actions are well documented, and I don't want the rest of the kingdom to be living in fear. So, if possible, I'd like to uh, cash in on those bounties. Tenor smiles and says, Well, of course, of course. Uh, I, I, at one point, I, DM, gave you a bounty on the missing people, right? Mm -hmm. How much did I tell you? I don't remember. You don't remember, I okay. guess, because I don't yeah. either. Yeah. You said it like once, and yeah. we were like, I I think it was before Tanner I, got to us. So we how, were like, how much money was the how much money do you get for the bandit head? That is two fifty, but I think I think, uh, you said something about like a plus one int iron stone. Uh, um. Ooh. So, I'm pretty sure that that's not true. Um, but it's uh, probably 500 or something. Uh, probably not, because technically clearing the 
Solving the mystery is doesn't require murdering necromancers, so they didn't know that. So I think it's 250 as well for the for the clearing of the mystery. If you mm. solve the question, that's 250, and if you want to head over, hand over Alex's head, that's another 250. Yep, I dump up head and say uh, there's this one as well. And uh, I don't know if you need this for documentation, but these were the guys in the uh, in the cave, and I put up the necromancer head and the mage head. So there's three heads. Three heads. Uh, Tenna kind of disgustedly looks at the three heads, waves over one of his lackeys, and says, uh, "You know what to do." A I smile at the lackey. Grabs the heads and like holding them away from him, carries them somewhere into a back room. Uh, and Tanner hands you over on 500 gold. And then says, uh, when, when, we, when, when we return from Fort Bream, uh, my, uh, not my, but the, uh, the local military guild reached out to me. Something about Julius going around trying to create a fund for my kids. I don't really know what that was about. I feel like at least Reuven's face like just drops abruptly. Uh, yeah, probably Osmar as well. Uh, What's the matter? Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure on the details. I just kind of is kind of can I talk with him about it? I kind of scratch my head and uh, look around, see how Ruben's doing. Ruben's eyes are like plastered on the ground. He's not looking up, but he like lightly to response as to Tana or maybe to himself. There's just like. A light head shake. Of a, of a Did you guys have a falling out? Uh, What's wrong? Uh, you, you seem to be. Huh? Um. <laughs> um. Uh, troll happened. Uh, Ruben kind of exactly you mean if a troll happened Ruben's eyes kind of redden and, 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 and blink rapidly and just shakes his head once more I have Tana slowly catching on to what's going on here so sir uh, is he dead? I, I feel like the still silence is a, an agreement. Hmm. Tanner takes like a two steps back and then kind of sits on his uh, table. What happened? I, I thought everything was going well, and then where did you where, where did you run into a troll? Ruben looks to Osmar to see how he's holding up. So he's kind of uh, biting his thumb's fingernail and uh, kind of looking down and left and right. Not really comfortable breaching the subject. Doesn't seem too eager to talk about it. 
I think ultimately Reuben stands up straighter a bit more and like looks up and like uses his hand to brush away at his eyes for a good solid few seconds and then blinks his eyes a few a more t- few more times and and then <sighs> breathes through his nose. The when we were attacking the bandit camp, we were doing <laughs> preparation, and he was alone. Tano stands back up and walks over to Osma and puts one hand on your shoulder and like gives you a push with his hand and then walks over to you Ruben does the same and says uh, I'm sorry seems like he was a good guy Ruben at least nods to that but uh, Usma might not can turn my head back and look at just look at the wall I'm, I'm sorry to bring this memory to the front so I didn't know I'm, I'm sorry I go place my hand on uh, Tanner's shoulder and kind of grasp it firmly and give him a nod and turn to leave. Still, <clears throat> still biting my finger now. Mm-hmm. Just a slightly awkward situation. You just leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody understands that you just leave. Nobody really questions it, but. It's kind of a weird situation, nonetheless. You find yourself a few minutes later walking back to the LLL, I guess. Mm-hmm. I want to go into the uh, hot tub for the day. Right. They're magically heated, right? Yeah. So I'll just spend an entire day. in the waters okay Ruben shadows him silently mm-hmm. and as the day slowly 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 draws to an end you go back to your room so I assume No, I think I'll, I think I'm gonna be there for a while and then maybe maybe at midnight I'd go, but I assume it probably takes like I don't know, like an employee who saw me go in but never saw me come out, mm-hmm. to, like check in and be like, hey, what the fuck? I think it probably takes a while because some of the time when an employee would come, like mm-hmm. Reuben like bears him off. <laughs> so probably until like at least midnight I'm just being chilling in the waters mm-hmm. and then maybe if if pestered enough I'll get up dry off mm-hmm. uh, are you still renting the big room? no so you go to your small room Um, I think Reuben will first buy a bottle of elven liquor and then knock on Uzma's door. You have enough money to buy one? I don't know. How much does it cost? 
You gave all your money to. I didn't Osman. give all. Of them. I gave one bag of fifty coins. I oh. have more. Another <laughs> bag. I, I think a glass. So I have the price somewhere. Uh, that's really expensive. So. Uh, I should two have GP this cost for one somewhere. glass. So, I think it's like twenty-five gold for a bottle. Ooh, I. I, I bet don't have that much. Uh, so I'll buy two glasses, which is... Four GP. Can't you even just put it on, like, the tab or something? Eh. Has that not been invented yet? No. I buy two glasses then, two hold, holding things, and come up to Uzma's room. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you say anything when you knock on the door? Um, don't think so. But I think you can recognize Ruben's knock at this point. Okay. To get a, a quite a long time and. Sure. If I know it's Ruben, I'll go let him in. See, he has some stuff, and then I motion towards the desk and pull out the chair. Then go sit in my bed. Yeah. Shut the door. Ruben is there just to kind of accompany you. He doesn't bring up any topics. He doesn't really initiate conversation much. He enjoys your company. And, and brings you the elven wine. Mm -hmm. And then you just sip on your wine for an hour or so, and then you go back to your room. Mm, yeah, I think so. Okay. He right. gives you a big hug before he leaves. Uh, Osmar is kind of limp. When hugged. Mm. In that case, seeing that Uzma is in like a tough pace, I think Ruin will just like, like, not li actually not leave and just like kind of take a spare, like piece of 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 like. Uh, a a, a clo cloth or something and put it on the ground in the corner and sleep there and just see if, if you throw him out or not but still accompany you in the room if you want yep. I'm not clicking him out I just fidget with some uh, spell components mm -hmm. um, do you stay awake during the night? no uh... I'll probably stay up pretty late. Mm -hmm. uh, wait. Ah, uh, how would this work? Yeah, I'm probably up for like at least a couple more hours. So I'm probably you know, maybe like an hour. I'll be up for. one uh, d sixty plus sixty minutes. Oh, for one hour. <laughs> Ooh, look at that roll. That's amazing. As you are about to fall asleep, Usma, give me a perception check. No shot. Okay. Plus one for the perception iron stone. Uh, yeah, minus one for darkness. So, all right. You fall asleep. My dad. I also rethought. Reuben didn't like. Reuben went to his own room and got like all the pillows and and mm -hmm. a blanket, and then made a ground, mm -hmm. a, a fortress in Usma's room. All right. Um, wake up the next morning. Usma, you are really tired. You. If you wanted to learn spells, you know that you wouldn't be able to concentrate enough. 
No, nope, I'll just stay in bed. Well, Rufen, your friend is lethargically sitting in his bed. Um, I think uh, if if we see enough, and Ruben will go get breakfast, and actually we'll bring breakfast for both of them in the room, mm -hmm. and and be ready to just stay with Usma as long as he needs, just chill out for how however many days he wants to stay chill out for. Bring him food and bring him drinks, and yeah. Osma, how long hey, do you want to? Brother. How long do you want to slouch, slouch out? Uh, I wanna, I wanna chill, inspecting the magic black rock. See if it suits me. Uh, uh, give me. Two perception checks. What the fuck? A success? As you like play around with the rock and now pay like close attention to to its shape and its size and everything. It doesn't it doesn't soothe you as in like probably the emotion calming effect that you're thinking about um but you start to recognize that the that this piece of obsidian that you have in your hands vaguely looks like a horse it's like a really like think about stone age drawings mm. but it kind of you could say that this is a head, you could say that these would be like the legs, there's a, a, a body. Mm. It kind of, kind of does look like a horse. Like, you took you hours to notice that, but now that you have, now that the thought is in your mind, uh, you I kind can't of, unsee it. No, you can't unsee it, yeah. I mean, you can look at it from a bit more distance and it just looks like a piece of obsidian, you know. The light reflecting and everything it's hard to focus on its shape and on its details but once you get there and now that you have made the connection it's quite easy to see the vague resemblance maybe it's a other quadruped but first thing that comes to your mind is horse mm. could be a zebra could be a camel maybe a long-legged bear who knows, but... Black horse rock. <laughs> Sorry. Don't know what's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, the day goes by, and Rufin, you stay in the room, or do you tonight go back to your own room? I think so. He, he more or less abandoned his own room, goes back and forth from Rufin's, uh, no, Uzma's room. Maybe occasionally will uh, leave Uzma alone for like an hour or so, taking the uh, horses for a walk. Mm-hmm. But most of the day, he spends just time with Uzma. Yeah. I'll go for a late evening walk when it comes night. Uh, do you bring Rufin with you or do you go alone? Uh, I, definitely, I definitely don't stop Rufin from coming, but I bring him with me 
Uh, he will uh, probably ask. Yeah, uh, and I definitely let him come. Okay. I just kind of walk around the town mm-hmm. as the sun is, or a little bit after the sun has set. Yeah. Uh, anything specific you want to look at? Or you just want to just want to chill out. Okay. There's probably not uh, any breeze here since the city's in the middle of the forest. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so I chill out in the cool rain. Mm-hmm. Oh. And after like 20 minutes of walking, I pull out the rock and ask Ruben if he thinks it looks like a horse. I try my best to look at it. Uh, give me a perception check. Twenty-seven. Yeah, with the, with the implanted knowledge of the of the horse, uh, you can quickly see the resemblance. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does look like a horse, or a different quadruped, but probably a horse. Uh, Jesus, my right. I think you would call this uh, statue a horse statue. I wonder why. I'm gonna just put it back in my bag. Is it magic? Mm -hmm. It's pretty strong magic as well. Um. Give me a uh, Usma. Give me a unconscious check. <laughs> so wisdom. Give me a wisdom check. Unconscious check. All Dude, right. what are these rolls today? You're super unconscious at this moment. I am super unconscious. Um, walking through the city, uh, uh, Reuven, you will probably be the one to notice where you're heading. Uh, you see that you're heading towards this more noble part of town. Um, And you can see a Mercurius house in the distance. I honestly, I think Ruben doesn't know where we're going. So you just recognize the house. So yeah. And seeing like a house that he recognizes, a street he recognizes, he'll He'll just think that Uzma is going here, like, uh, as he wants to, or like as he as like consciously going here, mm-hmm. and and will not speak up about it. Okay. Um, I, do the horseman just say I? Uh, I don't know much about magic. I guess. Could try and activate it like my shield. They're gonna look up and back to Ruben. And I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know. I. I don't know. Maybe just uh, a little bit of patience should be uh, used here. Patience is good. I mean, like, like lightly rubs your, like, shoulder. Yeah. All right. You continue on your walk. No, like do some sort of loopy loop and then go back to L. But I want it to be like a thirty to forty minute walk. All right. You loop back to the LLL. Go back inside, go back to your room. Just move and sleep mm-hmm. with you again, or do you want your room for yourself tonight? Up to Ruben. He'll stay for now. For for this day at least. Okay. Do you sleep?
watch as the window is tapped by rainfall. Have a somber evening. Mm -hmm. I'll wake up the next morning to the sound of missing rain. It's not raining. It's slightly raining, but compared to yesterday, it just doesn't really register. And I think we've spent enough time lounging around that this is the appropriate time to look at quest points. And Ooh. let you know that both of you reach level seven. Bing point. Ruben, roll your HP first. I think yours is going to be really bad now, so I want to roll the bad I, I need to continue the addition. I need to go take a pee before I roll. Okay. I'm going to go do that. All right. A BRB. Mm -hmm. A pee pee roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I, need, I guess I need to roll first then. I'm not I, think you... I have to go grab something drink and then roll. Okay. Break time then. 15 seconds. What? Ruining all my plans. What? Good job. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't have any plans, but you still ruined all of them. Or maybe I did have plans and you ruined all of them. Yes, King. Hard to say. Hard to say. Oh, actually. But I don't, I'm not going to remember. Cha 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 cha. Why is Excel so bad at some things? Oh. I don't know. Like, there's no good way to delete uh cells there isn't no if you want to like destroy all the formatting and everything i think the best way to do it at least from what i understand is to drag another cell on top of it uh or they kind of like copy it over i am back but then that destroys references you need excel knowledge I heard Excel questions that I it just It just sucks. What I use, uh, Google Docs or actual Excel? Excel. And what's your problem? There's Deleting cells is awkward. You, you can't do it in a clean way. What do you mean? I have formatting on cells. Okay. I, form, I format things to match like uh, spell, spell school, so color for instance. So, if I want to, uh, if I want to, if I have planned like 10 blue color spells, and then I'm like, mm, actually, you know what? I don't actually need 10 blue color spells. I only need nine. The best way to get rid of that blue formatting for me is to drag another cell on top of it. But that fucks up references. So then I need to redo my, uh, can't you just have conditional formatting for empty equals no color? Uh, That's how I solve yeah, the problem. It gets kind of awkward because I want because I want them to be colored in order, so I don't want to have like a little bit of blues, a little bit of yellows, a little bit of blues, a little bit of reds, a little bit of blues. I want them all to be like next to each other. So I don't I don't like conditional formatting for my uh, spell tables. I only like it for pre preparations. It's just awkward. There's no good fix. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I guess, did you try the uh, like paintbrush button? Would that work? I mean, yeah, I mean, it works, but it's just, I don't wanna, it's just too much to do. Okay. Well. It's, it's less automated than I would Have like. you tried Googling it? 
I found out I Googling have, helps everything, but... I have tried Google. I, the easiest way to do this uh, is so that I don't care about the references being broken, which could be done super easily through uh, like a program script, but holy fucking shit, the visual basic thing is fucking cringe. Yeah, it's, it's real. It's real tough. And, I mean, there's some way to like... Uh, like add Python into it, but it would be really, but it's a little bit awkward, and I don't want to be messing with file paths and windows because I don't fucking do this shit. I don't, I don't want to use like multiple hours on this. To be fair, uh, Visual Basic isn't that tough if you're just copy pasting other people's script. Yeah, but I wouldn't be copy pasting. There's a specific thing I want to do. Okay. Uh, well, going into the game again, uh, DM, I shall be rolling my HP now. Yes. Slash R B one zero, hitting enter now. Mm -hmm. Ten. Four. Okay. Four. Plus five. Uh, plus is it? Four. Plus four. Is it only plus four? Hmm. Yeah. I I don't have twenty or nineteen corner. No. Look, this is how you roll HP. Is it one d six? It's one d six, right? Yes. See, that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got you got lower average. I got below average. Mm -hmm. Three, three, two, six, four, five, three. Okay. Uh, character cheat. Oh, uh, let's see what else happens on level seven for the both of you. Um, I know my shit. I got a provision spot last level, but I haven't used it. Warrior yet. saving throws. All go down by one. Oh, uh, do I heal uh, five HP DM in the two days that I'm resting now? Uh, so four. 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 So I'm down one HP. But I also level up. So I'm just down one HP from my max HP, or am I one. like, is there some percentage? Well, give me a second. Two, four. Hey, no, six. You heal okay. six HP. That's just like the fourth so day in Lobe, so. Very good. I have broken oh, 70. Oh, you heal 5, which is the one that's that you needed, and then you get one more, uh, and then you level up. And stay Amazing. on the same percentage. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your second throws change. Um, Ooh. Blup, blup, blup. Uh, blup, blup, blup. Tables. Uh, 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 uh. Where's it? Proficiency slots. Um, warrior. Nope. 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 Why do you think that you get a proficiency i don't get a proficiency no wizard i have a saved up proficiency weapon proficiency slot why wizard think proficiency not this level i got one last level yeah okay you shouldn't know nobody gets anything on level seven except for warrior saving throws i get spells Ooh. and i get significant spells warrior specialist attack rate changes but Mm. Ooh. But that would be higher mastery, I'm assuming? Uh, for you, you are already maxing out. Like, bow is weird. Okay, so I can't get another mastery? Uh, you can, like, your specialist attacks per round don't change on level 7 because you already have free attacks. Okay, gotcha. If you were a melee specialist, then you would get one more. 0.5 more attacks on this level. Gotcha. But you get better with Thacko. Yes. I do. Thacko. Yes, King. What is uh, your plus to hit now, if they're, if they're close range? Um, I just got a plus one right. Oh, Wizard also uh, gets Thacko on seven. At seven? Yeah, your Thacko goes to 18. Wait, I thought my Thacko went up last level. No, last level oh. you, get the, you got the proficiency slot. I thought I got both last level. No. 
for fi wait, really? I mean, in, on table 53, it says wizard level 7, 18, and wizard level 6 is 19. But the, wait, improvement rate points per level. So it's one plus this, it says one over three. Mm -hmm. Table 54. Doesn't that mean that I get tackle up on three and six and nine? Or is it four and seven and ten? Uh, the table says four, seven and ten. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess so. The first level doesn't count for this. Okay. Yeah, for some weird reason. That seems to be what I'm calculating it. I'm now rolling a plus 14 to hit someone within 30 feet of me with my bow. I already had a markdown tackle 18, but okay. I don't think I made any attack rolls, so... Yeah. All right. My, my, my thingies go up. My abilities. Yeah, so abilities. Sev, which is... Oh, no, I did make an attack roll. Cheetah! Probably. Uh, that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Oh, your ranger identification changes. My what? Uh, your ranger tracking identification results changes. Wait, does Ruben get spells? No, nope. level next eight. level. Uh, level Big. 9, I think. Isn't it level 9? Spells on next le 8 level, and Paladins get spells at ninth level. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, 8, true. Yeah. Um, -bum -bum -bum. Level improvements. Level 7, 43, 55 for your skills. Just goes up. Uh, yes, my my thingies. Mm -hmm. I've got a plus 6%, plus 7%. Uh, plus 6, plus 8, technically. Then did I do it? 43 it and 55. Uh, from 6 to 7, move silently was... 70, 47 to 55. Yeah, that's eight. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not seven. Yes, it is. Um, and if you, yeah, if you manage to identify the tracks, you will now get the appropriate, uh, approximate size and or age of the creature. How do you tell age off of tracks? Size and or age. Oh, so if it's like a creature that grows, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But you probably wouldn't be able to tell like a one million year old vampire from like a one thousand year old vampire, right? Probably. Also, you wouldn't know that it's a vampire leaving the tracks, right? No. I would. So I'm pretty sure vampires don't leave tracks. Yeah, I mean, if you don't vampires know what to look weird. for. Okay. Well, you clearly didn't know what to look for. <laughs> um, 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 um. Do you know what you want to take for your level up? I do. What? Can I roll as I say that? Uh, do you take one for free or do you want to? I take three for free. Three for free, okay. Okay, for narrative reasons, it's important that I succeed these rolls. All right. Which one is the what's the first, first one? Spell? First one is project self. Okay. Yes. It's a good one. Hey, man, brother. Uh, I think this is Osmar's attempt of uh 
creating a spell because or i don't know how how we rolled the or how we rolled these level up spells i imagine there's somewhat like self-created kind of yeah uh, just like oh i know i have this idea in mind maybe you read about it somewhere or maybe you mm -hmm. came up with this by yourself more or less so, so somehow unconsciously a... you know about the existence of the spell or consciously you know about the existence is, of the spell this is actually a failed role kind of uh i think i wanted i think i want wanted to uh uh uh, uh. i mean with the whole priest thing I think communicating with like other planes seems really cool, and I I, I want to gather information from, uh, or I want to be able to talk to like dead people in mm -hmm. the astral plane, or I think that's where I would assume that they are. I don't really know the ethereal plane, astral plane, something like that. I'm not a super high level wizard yet. I don't really know much about that kind of shit. But I think there's an attempt of creating a spell to uh chat with beings on other planes but just because of the lack of knowledge on how planes work and how mm -hmm. uh everything else it just that part kind of failed and ended up with a still pretty good spell but not what he was originally aiming for all right that's that's my thing mm -hmm. and on the six plus three pages mm -hmm. these are rough Uh, pages eight, book three. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it didn't update. I'll fix that soon. Uh, and then the next spell. This is just this is just a spell that Osmar has always wanted. This mm -hmm. is the spell. Uh, polymorph self. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good one. Yeah, this is this is a long time dream. Uh, one d six. I can't see my thing. Plus three. Six pages. Uh, on book number. It'll be on book number four. Is that no? Okay. And then finally. Stone skin, the spell. The one to fail. That everyone gets mad about. Twenty. Oh, 14, style. 24, 23. Oh. Decent rolls. 1d6 plus 3. Nine <laughs> pages. Three times three pages. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I think stone skin is kind of. I think Osmar is a little bit worried about. Uh... I mean, he had a party member die. He's a little bit worried that uh, Ruben is going to get injured, especially with Ruben being sicko mode as he is. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Osmar has kind of a keen interest on spells, on like defensive spells. Mm -hmm. So. Giga chat alteration stone skin mm -hmm. high on the bucket list. This is probably he's probably heard of the spell before. Mm -hmm. And once he realizes that uh, he understands polymorph self, then he'll dedicate a day of study to get stone skin written down as well. Alrighty. So you take multiple days to write things down? Uh, I think the others, I, I I would consider that um, Project Self was kind of, or Polymorph Self has been like an ongoing learning thing. Uh, so I think I can have that immediately waking up. Uh, Project Self is probably going to be most of today, then Stone Skin is going to be the rest of the day and a little bit of tomorrow morning to iron out. All right. Okay. I think that's how long it takes. Both knowing that you are like in your study session now and you probably don't want to be disturbed, and because he himself has had some uh, 
I don't know, Eph epiphanies. Ruben will probably leave Usman's room alone, stays in his own room, and probably spend the entire day and night, or almost all, the, uh, still sleeping, but you know, taking almost all the time he has to go into the forest to uh, train his shooting shooties. All right. Again, oh. probably realizing his he's coming close to a a, a plateau in skills, mm -hmm. realizing his improvement isn't as much as it was before. But yeah, to return at night. Yep. And go to your own room this time? Yes. Okay. Osma. What's up, my brother man? What is up? True. Good question. Uh, when do you go? When do you go to sleep? Are you furiously writing down notes about your space until in the middle of the night? Or... No, I think uh, sleeping is a very important part of learning. All right. So I go to sleep at a normal time. Mm -hmm. Um. You wake up. No. In the middle of the night, it's dark outside. Do you hear a rustling voice? Osma! Uh, your mic is cutting out. Osma! I see a noise gate. Saying your name. There's a voice that says my name. I probably have said eyes. it a few times already. As you wake out of your slumber. Uh, do I see him? Mm -hmm. Standing five feet away from your bed. Standing is the wrong word. Five feet away from your bed. Next to the window is a Wraith, glowing eyes, greatly humanoid shape. No. Watch us as you turn around and look at him. What's your initial uh, initial reaction? I remember the guy. Now significantly less impressed. I mean, I I don't think he's cringe or dumb, but significantly less impressed now that I can cast the spells myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of rub my eyes. And I also knew that uh, Julius was part of the guild. Mm -hmm. So I think this is kind of like a more comfortable situation now. Because, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. These guys seem kind of friendly have good relations. I mean, he's not like, he's not God. Like previously when I met the guy, he seemed like God, like pretty much God-like to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but now he's just kind of like a dude. I mean, he's a cool dude, but he's a dude, you know? Mm -hmm. So I rub my eyes and I just kind of look at him. He seeing your reaction to, to him. Wait. Hmm? Uh, there's, how does the magic light turn? Uh, can I just will it to be dim or do uh, I need to go like, touch to something? Go and touch it. Okay. Never mind then. Mm -hmm. How far is it? Where is the switch? Uh, do I need to touch the light? Probably too far away from the bed. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh... Oh no, it's on the other side of the... Like, it's on the other wall okay. from the bed. And he's standing between you and the light, more or less. Yep. 
So I just rub my eyes and yeah. look at it. Yeah, as he notices that you're kind of chill here, so he uh, steps out of his shadow form, exiting ex exiting his ray form, and standing before you is this average sized looking made looking figure. You've seen him before, right? Mm -hmm. You don't really know exactly who that is. Uh, the significance of this person is unknown to you still, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you have your guess that this is some sort of guild assassin or something. Who knows, right? Uh, wait, how much do I know? I think you saw him once and he didn't really tell you who he is. He just told you to stay out of the way. Okay. Oh, but I do know... Because I asked Farah mm -hmm. to... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. So, never mind. So I think... I don't think he's... Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Stepping out of his uh, wraith form, uh, guy stands in front of you and says, uh, Hello, Osma. It's been a while since we last talked. Uh, yeah. I am looking for your traveling companion. Uh, I presume you're speaking of Julius? Indeed. No. Uh... Well, would we'll probably have to travel to another plane in that case. Because his deity or whatever pulled him out, or because he's dead? Presumably dead. Unfortunate. Hmm. Well. Considering you have been part of this adventure, you and your elven friend, I dislike having my favors not repaid, so... Mm. You're not lying to me, are you? I kind of eye him. Mm -hmm. I cock my head, kind of expecting that he'd have some sort of like mind reading spell cast already, but I guess he doesn't. Maybe if I was, so that that's what my mind is going through. Like, oh, I mm -hmm. think he would have a mind reading spell already cast, but I mean, I guess if he doesn't know what time I'm gonna wake up, um, he doesn't want to cast it early. Uh, sorry, what was the question? I'm not lying. Uh, I no. You feel his, his gaze watching you. you. You can't see his face. He has like this shadowy looking mask over his face. But you're quite certain that he's staring at you. I uh, look in his direction and say, would you, could you be so kind as to uh, turn the lights on a little bit? It's hard for me to see. That's the point. Well, when last time your group came through this town, I had a little chat with your then traveling companion and 
we came to an arrangement a favor for a favor and I'm a man of my words I would like to repay this favor since Julius seems to be gone I will instead offer this to you I uh, I get up from my bed and go to walk past him and go turn the light on a little bit so that it's not like full on, but to make mm -hmm. it dim. Yeah, you make it dim. You still see that this there seems to be this shadow looming in front of his face. And I go sit back on my bed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, would it cost me a favor to? inquire over the uh, happenings or the project of the Mercurial household. This could be your favor, but you would be wasting it. You could... Uh... You could willingly give up the information without use of a favor, and maybe we could help each other. The project is finished. Okay. Uh... Well, I'm not sure there is really anything you can do for me. Uh, There's many things I can do. I understand that you might not have a clear idea right now, which is not a problem. For, uh, are you able to, uh, are you able to conjure a meeting with the Archmage? The Royal Archmage? I nod. don't think so. I could look into it, but if my memory saves me correct, this would be almost impossible at the moment. All right, uh, understandable. Um... Um. You're of the guild, you, uh, you deal in, uh, you deal in all sorts of items. You could say so. Uh, how uh, great is this favor that you owe me? I 
we cut a good haul out of this? A good haul? Anything that isn't too powerful, I think we can talk about. Okay, well, I'll... Uh... Anything that isn't one of the main council members we can talk about. Will you need something disappear from a place and reappear in your possession? It's an option. Oh, you need uh, information. I can help you out. I don't have my eyes set on anything right now. Um, I'll uh, I'll think about it. Uh, where where can I find you? Do you have like a business card or something? <laughs> I think you understand how to get in contact with my subordinates. What with travels? your subordinates? What travels in this town? If you are here, I probably know it. If you need to meet me. Put a word into the wind. Uh, okay. Well, I will occasionally check in with you. What? What was the purpose of this occasional checking? I think I'd much prefer the checkups be only for when. Uh, Initiated by me. Hmm. And where's the fun in that? They shake my head. Exactly. I go, uh, I get up once again, uh, and turn the light off. And then go back into my bed. Uh, I'd like to still have a night's rest, so if of you course. would, then I kind of motion towards the window. Oh. I wish you a good night's sleep. Hope to hear from you soon. And he pushes in the air and disappears. I snuggle under my blanket. Alright. You fall back asleep. You wake back up the next morning. Oh, that was not, that was not bad. I repair for Jack's self and palm myself. All right. Oh my god, I don't... Oh. I need to do a lot of stuff to make my thing work again. <laughs> okay. Wait, I need to reread this spell. Is All this right. useless? Yeah. Until mm -hmm. I learn clairvoyance. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, hopefully it don't fail clearly. <laughs> Failure number four. Um No number three. Not four. Yeah. Um Alright, level seven wizards. Do you want to go straight into trying to identify things or spell learning or something completely different where mm. do we go from here 
Wait, I have two identify parallels. I didn't write that down. Identify parallel two. Uh... Uh, I think I'll go to identifying in the evening, but I'd like to uh, chat with Ruben for the first half of the day. All right. Yeah. Uh, Ruben will chat with you uh, somewhere in the conversation when he feels like you're you're doing better now. He'll like slip in, asking again, like, "Do we want to go?" Or do we know if Julius had family and how how can we know that or or do we want to go to Port Bream and and do that? Uh at what point do you say this? Do you say this like immediately in the morning? And uh, no. So after after we've had a bit of conversation already. And he feels like you're doing better. I think because uh, I think the conversation is going to start uh, during breakfast, I'll say, Ruben, I need to show you something. Uh, let's go visit the place where near the dirt player things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it was before that then. Okay. So immediately pretty much. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, how would you even go about finding someone's family? Ruva gives a very much a shrug of, I, no idea. I guess ask the knowledge keeper. I don't think the knowledge keeper would know Julius's family. Mm. I guess there are so many of you humans. Ah, uh, I. Then I do not know. Do you have any way? Who to ask? Mm. No, I'm afraid I don't really have too many. I, have not, I I don't even know who would who would know. Maybe if you had like a friend, but I, that would be just as hard to figure out. Yeah, he never he never said anything about that. Oh, maybe um. What's your name? Uh, I don't have a written down. What's your name? Uh, I feel like I know who you're talking about of the few people that you could be talking about, but I'm pretty sure Ruben doesn't know those people. I think the uh, lady from the Royal Council might know. I think that's the you know, only option here. The only oh. person who could possibly know. That uh, weird lady in Barrios. Yeah. Okay, I uh, I guess next time we go to Barrios, we can ask her. Mm. Okay. Uh, you wanted to say something, Uzma? I want to show you something. Okay. But I'd like to not be in town for it. I shall follow you. Uh, I'd prefer to do it the other way around, actually. I, I think you know your ways around Low Bay a little bit better than me, at least once we're out of the city. I'd like to uh, visit the the open area that Nier once did. Um, okay, yeah. All right. So you walk into the forest and arrive on the clearing. The suspiciously looking trees are not here gotcha. i think i will go to the second clearing where there weren't any trees 
Uh, the trees were oh, on the second one. Oh, the, right? the trees were in the second one, right. Mm -hmm. There were the, the, the other one. Both of the times it was real scary. Okay. So I checked the trees. Mm -hmm. Trees are normal. Yeah. Okay. Everything's good, Osmar. What do you want to do? Um. All right. I need you to not get scared. He looks slightly confused and then says, like, you've turned into, like, ghost, Uzmar. I, I don't feel like you do anything that would scare me anymore. I walk into the middle of the clearing and shoo Reuven to, like, the edge. Okay, yeah, he does that. I cast Polymorph Self and turn into a griffin. Do, you, do I see a griffin? Assuming it works. Osma, his shape really changes and emerging from this shape-shifting adventure in front of your face is a griffin. It looks ah! suspiciously like the griffin that tried to murder you. That is a, a light but quick sh shout from Ruben. Bah! What's, what's, what's this? I, I bat my wings and give a loud griffin screech. Ruben and, uh, like, looks at you. Uh, then... Uh, have I seen the Dryad? We went to the Dryad's place with you. And then I, a... then I shift into a Dryad. Now the big avian creature morphing into one of the forest's own. Can I now speak normally? Uh, yeah. As I would. Are my vocal cords like polymorphed as well? So do I sound like dryady? You sound weird when you talk. Mm. Aria? Is that oh. you? It was my best imitation of her. It seems. It's just a general, generally, general dryad. But okay. I've never, but I've never seen like a dryad before. So I'd, I'd use her image as like a very, very strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you still have like just green dress, flowers in your hair. Uh, Riven, I, I think this will open up a lot of possibilities. That is, that is very impressive, Uzmar. You can, can you, can you, understand me when I'm talking Elven? Uh, this form. I presume I can't. Right, I don't think it gives nope. me. Languages. You cannot. Also, I kind I just kind of cock my head at him. Ah, okay. Wait. I understand. I get it. No wait, This would be a charisma check. Okay, never mind. I don't get it. You can still take the same role as before. True. Okay, so I do get it, and I shake my head and say, "Ruben, I doesn't impart me the ability to speak other languages." However, it does. Uh, provide mode of travel, so... Wait, so you can use all of Arya's abilities? Gives you a uh, weird look. I don't think so. Okay. But like, uh, if I'm a griffin, I can fly. Ah, that is... Okay. But couldn't you fly already? I guess? Well, at very at very different speed. Ah, I see. Okay. I, uh... I polymorph into, like, a ooze. Slime. No, I polymorph into a spider. And what spider? I've definitely seen spiders before. You only have seen normal spiders, right? Mm-hmm. Can you polymorph into a normal spider? Or Why is that not? too small? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. Small as a wren. What's a wren? I 
Thank you. Ooh, ooh. If you transform into troll, does that mean Tiny you uh, regrow limbs? Uh, I transform back into myself and say no, unfortunately not. A spider is too small, unless you know about a large enough spider. So I know like a tarantula, they're pretty common, right? Mm, don't think you have seen one. Uh, that would be a cool small creature. I turn into elven kitty. Into a elven kitty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go climb up Rugen and then go look at the other cat. Um, the cat is on the ground. Oh. I go far forest. with the cat. Ooh. Uh, you try to fight the cat? Uh, I'm not like hitting it, but I'm doing like the thing where you like in the pouncing position and I kind of jump back and forth. Kitty goes into fight mode, yeah? And dances with you. And I jump on Ruben and climb onto the other side of him. Uh, Ruben, you are now the climbing, climbing tree for two cats as they climb up you. Yep. Then I try, to run each other. I, I try to run around and make Reuven hate uh, animals a little bit. Uh, is Uzma as, as silent as an elven cat? No. Who knows how the spell works? Uh, th that's what Reuven's looking at this, using his peering eyes to discern if... if... No, clearly, one of the cats is very, very nimble and almost uh, inaudible and the other cat is like <laughs> and stomping on the ground and almost stumbling over its own feet okay yes hmm. Uzma, you can tell Reuben like very easily can spot you even if you like turn to t try to turn into someone that looks exactly like uh, the other kitty he can easily spot you out for some weird reason over the <laughs> Over this exchange between the two cats, you can uh, silently hear Kitty say, uh, Bad wizard, now bad kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben chuckles. Uh, I, I smack not, wizard? Not no. hearing this, so not demoralized. Mm -hmm. uh, I jump off and polymorph into something else. Mm -hmm. Uh... Probably just myself. Yeah. Can you do that always? Uh, well, not really always, but it should last for quite a while. Okay. So we can now fly very quickly, very far away. Easy. Mm -hmm. I'd still have to do some experiments how it interacts with the, uh, the magical shard thing. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So if you, but, but so if you turn into troll or ogre, are you still as strong as a troll or ogre, or you are you as weak as as human? No, I'd be my normal strength. But can you lift me up as Griffon then? Uh, I cock my head. I think so. I think it should be fine. Actually, unsure now. I always assumed that that was true because in every campaign that I've ever watched, everyone rides the dude who polymorphs. It's but, only one way to find out, huh? But now that you say that, I'm not actually sure. You want to try? Uh, I kind of look around. Uh, how much space is the open space? I think it's like 40 feet radius or something. 40 feet radius. Okay, so we can go into like one of the ends. Sure, we can go into one of the ends, but the problem is that uh, for griffins, they might fly at a higher top speed, but maneuvering is going to be a lot harder, I presume, with this larger body. So 
it's okay. If you not good, I will jump off. Okay. Uh, we walk into one end. I polymorph into a griffin, and I don't want to really fly above the tree line. I just kind of want to grab Reuben into one of my talons and uh, fly like, uh, like, because it's 80 feet long, so fly like up and then back down within like the 80 feet thing. Uh, just like a short. I'm quite certain that you can't grab him with one of your talents. Okay. Without I, uh, ripping him in pieces into pieces. Okay, I uh, go. I place my head down so that Ruben can walk on me and get bound me. Yeah, yeah. You get on the Griffin's back and try to find some way to grab onto him, which is uh, yes. surprisingly hard. And uh, Osman, give find. me a dex check. Uh, me? No, Osman. No! <laughs> you try to fly, and as this is the first time you're trying this, you start jumping forward, flapping your wings, and as you try to jump off from the ground, flapping your wings, you face plant. Okay. Reuven Throwing comes up Reuven like... over your over your body into the mud as well. Okay. Oh, I, uh... I stumble for that. No. It's less than 10 feet, you auto success. <laughs> Bam! Reuven does no. like a backflip. Uh, remembering now that flying isn't as intuitive as it is with the magical fly spell, now without Reuben on my back, I take a couple of steps backward and try to fly first on my own without Reuben on my back. Hmm. Uh, you uh, notice that as a griffin, it's quite hard to start flying, like just from up from the ground. Okay. Um, without running or anything. Okay. They kind of tend to jump off something and then fly from there. Mm. Okay. But after a while, you kind of get the hang of it. Do you know, you have to run a few feet before you can, uh, before you can properly fly, and then it works. Okay. Um, your maneuverability in this clearing, you would uh, smack against trees if you don't fly out of the forest. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Can you? I I smack into the trees if I don't fly out of the forest. Yeah, you have to fly. Over the tree tops, uh, I like you can't circle this clearing. It's too small. Oh no! I'm not trying to circle. I, I was thinking like since it's 80 feet long, mm -hmm. I'd like do like a I don't know, like 20 feet uh, momentum run, then fly mm -hmm. up for like uh, like 20 feet. Right, forward. Yeah, you can you can long jump through the clearing, yeah. but it's not really flying. So yeah. But that's kind of what I wanted to try out. Mm -hmm. And then if I succeed at that, I try to long jump with Ruben on my back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play around for an hour or two to get this somewhat uh, organized. Do we uh, find out if he can fly with me? Uh, he can at least long jump with you on his back, yeah. Interesting, okay. So probably he can fly with you as well. Mm. It's really unstable. Griffin specs uh, without saddle or anything to stabilize you. It's like really hard to hold on to. Ruben, that walking back talks with us. I was like, you know, it's really quite uh, difficult to hold on. Uh, saddle would help a lot. I ponder on how I feel like feel about being saddled up. Uh, maybe Ruben, maybe. Okay. It's okay, we can always just do the old fly if needed. <laughs> I, you know, there's some, uh, there's some merit to the idea of just looking out for, uh, different creatures now i'm only i'm obviously only capable to turn into things that i've seen before so can you turn into ant people uh i yeah i think so 
do you think um can you try it one time uh i think we already spent that two hours right okay yeah that is fine. we were messing around with the griffin stuff so i said i'd not uh, i'd have to try again another day maybe next time yeah. and yeah Yeah. Um, what does Osma want to do now? Oh, well, we wanted to do uh, identification. Yep, identification. But I'm cool with anything pretty much now. I'm just being chilling. So, what is it then? I'll go identify. Uh, what do we not do? Uh, yeah. Wait, I need Ruben items. Ruben will give you all the items. Ruben leather armor. Uh, what items do I have that I want? Black rock. Black rock. Um, do you want both my swords? My strength belt? Uh, yeah, we can check the strength belt just to get it on record. Strength the belt. armor again, right? Yep. Like... Uh, uh, the flame sword. I don't want the other sword. Okay. I think I have so much stuff now. Uh... Did I fail on the necklace or did I get it that there's no other property? Uh, you failed. Which necklace? The necklace of missile protection. So you got the missile protection and then you failed. Okay, so I'll do the necklace. Necklace of missile protection. Okay, never mind. I'm not doing the. Actually, I'll do the strength belt another day. But if you don't, Ruben, if you don't need it now, I could hold on to it and get to Ruben it. Ruben will I... give you everything. Okay, I'll just get to it when I can. Uh, other stuff that I want to do is actually, I'm going to write this. Uh, well, I'll talk about this. Uh, is the wand. No, wait. No, yeah, there's still that one thing. So yeah, wand. Uh, okay, I'll write this down in Excel so I don't forget. Ruben leather armor. Uh, black rock, wand, flame, sword, necklace, of missile protection. Okay, I have my stuff. There's one, two, three, four, five, six items. I'll prepare them all, but I probably won't go through them all. Yep. All right. No uh, rolling time. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Uh, first thing is the black rock. All right. Seventy percent. Seventy percent, which is enough to not fail this time. Um, yeah, um, this is indeed the figurine of a horse, and on speaking the command word, it will turn into a mount of some sort. Turns into mount by command word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I get the command word? Uh, I have to come up with the command when I have not okay. written down. Okay, uh, but Osmar knows it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's a one property thing, so I'll ignore that now. And I'll do the uh, flame sword. The uh, it can um. This is like the one thing that comes with your first identifier as well. Uh, it can be used for 24 hours, once per week. Oh, once per week? Yes. Once per week. Interesting. So it's not a replacement for a mount, but it's like your stuff or something. 
And the identifier doesn't, does it tell me that it's a random mount or does it not specify what kind of amount it is? It does not quite specify what kind of amount it is. Okay. You probably I'll do have the... to use it to find out what it is. Yep, I'll do the flame sword next. Alright. You do the flame sword and fail. Nice. That's what I wanted. I do the necklace of missile protection. Alright. Do you try to read and re identify the first thing or do you? No, I'll go for next thing. Oh, sorry, on the flame sword, did you try to re identify the first property? Uh, no, I, I would try to. Uh... No, I was going for a new property. Okay, all right, you failed anyways. But... Uh, um, necklace of missile protection. Necklace of protection. Uh, the second property is that this thing gives you. Uh, where is it? Uh, Plus one to saves and AC. Oh! To saves and AC. Big. No, it's not a. It's not a thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've done one, two, three now. Mm -hmm. do, do I have seven properties now? Yes. Ooh. And we said that I can return to this after trying other stuff. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I think I can use the wand pretty efficiently, even if I don't know everything about the wand. So I think that's low priority. The leather armor has one property that I already kind of know. Uh, I kind of already know the strength, but I'm gonna do a third property on the necklace. Um, third property. Uh, what what do you know about the amulet? Uh, it blocks missiles, uh, level one magical and normal missiles, and it gives plus one to save the AC. Okay. Um, on larger um physical projectiles like uh, javelins or level two magical spells. Uh, they suffer a penalty to hit and have the damage reduced. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Do I get how much? Uh, the die is one size smaller. Okay. Gee, this necklace is huge. Yeah. Uh, there's no shot it has a fourth property, right? One, two, three, four is what I've tried now. Can I do uh, the Ruben leather armor? Can I do like second property, even though I haven't identified like a first no. property? Okay. Well, I'll do first property then. Uh, it is a plus two to AC. Uh, plus two. Okay, I'll do second property then. Double checking if I'm not missing something, but no, I'm not. One, two. Second property, three. there's none. Jeez. Now I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? No, six. Uh, I'll do the strength belt. It imparts the variable with 18-100 strength. 18-100 strength. Nice. Uh, okay, that's all my all my shit. All right. Oh yeah, and I would have had to pay the extra two gold for the giga room. Did you fail the second on the drama? Or no, it had done. It's only a plus two. And it's plus two to AC or plus two to AC and saves? Plus two to AC. Okay. Okay. I pass out onto my bed. <laughs> All right. And sleepy time and next morning time. 
Next morning time. Oh. How did we decide to rule stone skin? By the book? By the book. Okay. So every uh every attempted attack, even if it's miss, uh reduces charges. Wait, is that by the book? Yep, okay. No, give me a sec. That's not what I read. This limit applies regardless of attack rolls. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. true. That's by the book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll prepare two stone skins and try to get me and Ruben stoned up. Actually, wait, how much cash do I have? Yeah. Is 50 gold for the spell component? Is it 50 or 100? Mm, I can double check. I think it's 50. Dust diamond, 100 GP. Oh, uh, it? Wait, 10 GP. Wait, 10 GP? Uh-huh. I feel like it was 50. So maybe, 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 maybe that was like a special case. And like, maybe it depends on where you're, where you're at. I mean, on, on the knee sheet, it says 10 GP. Okay. Well, if we're cool with that, then, uh, hmm. interesting. Uh, it does say 50 GP on regal goblins. Where? Uh, the very bottom. Oh, it uh, specifies that it. Granite and diamond dust sprinkled on the recipient's skin. Mm. I don't think granite is that expensive. Yeah, it's literally one copper in uh, that thing. So there's an incongruence between the. Yeah, he probably just re. Restated how much it needs. No. Yep. So I need a but lot of. But by the book, dust. it doesn't say that it has to be fifty GP worth of diamond dust. So our granite and diamond dust sprinkled on the recipient's skin. Oh, how, however you want to rule that's on cool. Uh, I'm currently looking for spell component costs. Hmm. Hmm. I think 50 GP is fine. Let's just go with that. Okay. It seems to be decently balanced. Yeah. Uh, now, now the question is on um, for actually they're still kind of common. Would I find these at like a jeweler or at a? What? Uh, would I find these kind of components now that we're getting into fourth level spells? Maybe these components aren't like super common, uh, so I don't know how often they're sold. Would it would these be find found from uh, jewelers or from spell component shops? Um. Uh, it is a special order, so probably jeweler shops. Jeweler shops? Right. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I greet Ruben in the morning. Uh, and say that. Uh, Oh, I guess share the information on the items. Uh, didn't okay. manage to didn't manage to learn anything about the sword. Unfortunately, it seems that the magic here is quite tricky. But the uh, belt that was identified uh, doesn't quite give giant strength, but it makes you as strong as a human could be. Um, okay. 
and uh, you really don't need to worry too much about me. Uh, the necklace seems to be seems to offer very good protection. I don't think I don't think you need to worry about uh, about protecting me. You kind of seem to do that quite often in uh, combat situations. He just smiles at you, not giving you an answer. I open up my bag and give him the armor and oh this had no extra properties and I give him the belt and the sword. Uh, I, I managed to uh, read a little bit further on this on the spell to uh, offer protections. Uh, the seems a pretty strong magic. Um should block pretty much everything. Even a griffin couldn't hurt you. Though this protection is limited and does wear down pretty quickly. So a cobalt or three cobalts could be as effective at reducing the protection as a griffin. So um, I guess take to to uh, preserve the protection for a longer time, take even the easiest of fights very seriously, because you want to win those cleanly. I see. And did this last forever? Uh, uh, yep. Until broken. But it does break quite easy. And... Uh, in face of adversity. Okay. Um, just to confirm, on the sheet it does say duration 24 hours. That's a quite book thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then Rune will nod. Not fully understanding. Like, are you. Uh, and then, like, so you want to put this magic on me right now? Yep, I'll have to go uh, look around for a jeweler. I don't have the components to cast it just yet. But I'll be I'll be back here uh, pretty soon. Or if you want, we can go together. Um, it's okay. I I will take day today for uh, uh, I will go practice bow and wood. It's okay. Sure. All right. And Ruben probably spends or intends to spend this day as well, probably. Mm -hmm. I'll go by the diamond dust and I'll go to the edge of the low bay and start screaming, Ruben, 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 and try to find him. Um, uh, no luck. Yep. Well. After wasting like a couple of hours, I guess I go back and think, what the fuck? Uh, I guess I'll just cast it later on. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I think to myself, if there's something else that I could identify. Oh, I didn't do the wand yet. Uh, I didn't fail the necklace, right? I just got three properties. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get that it ran out. Uh, so there's the necklace and the wand that could potentially still be identified. There's, uh, is there anything else? Uh, before we forget it, I, I, I will look uh, well, the deep. oil. Penalty Sorry? on the necklace uh, for medium sized and level 2 magical spells is minus 5. Oh, to hit? Yeah. And the damage is reduced by 1 by size? Yeah. Okay. Gee, this is so much better than what I thought. I thought it was just going to be one of those things that eats up magic missiles and then it explodes after its fall.
Okay, but I still have the magic oil. Mm -hmm. So I'll go. I will do one more identify today since I wasn't able to find Ruben. And I'll try to identify. I'll prepare the wand, the necklace again, and then the magic oil. Uh, on the oil, uh, I never gave you any description. Um, it's uh, when you look at it in the dark, it seems to be slightly glowing. Uh, in the dark? It, yeah. Okay. Um, it has a violet tone to it, and it is opaque. Violet and opaque shines in dark. Slightly glows in the dark. Uh, what's the word for that? Fluoresces? Is that a good word? Uh, no. Lightly glows yeah. in dark. It's the same effect, but different method. Was oh, fluorescence like a chemical reaction or something? I think so, yeah. Wait, is fluorescing the thing that scorpions do? Yeah. No. No. F fluorescence is, is is glowing. It's what fluorescence. It's like the underwater things and the yeah stars that you can pin to your ceiling as a kid. Yeah. Okay. But they need to be like. Uh, fluorescence needs to be charged with light, I think. And bioluminescence yeah. is the other thing. It's the That's field. the underwater thing. And yep. the in cave glow thing. Okay. So this would be more, more like bioluminescence, but probably magi luminescence. Okay. Well, I'm identifying it anyway. Mm -hmm. So what items do you prepare? Uh, I'll drag them here so that I get like a cleaner view. Wand, mm -hmm. magic oil, and necklace. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the? What the so bro? You are quite sure that the shard only has one property. The shard? Mm-hmm. Oh, the black rock? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll prepare it as well, just in case I run out of things. I'm pretty certain that it has one property only. Okay. But, yeah, I'll prepare. It is once a week for 24 hours, so maybe it actually does have a second property. Okay. So, wand, magic, oil, necklace, black rock. Uh, oil. Did say... Yeah, oil. Did I not say oil? Oil. Oil, uh, oil, oil, oil. Okay, can I roll? Uh, okay, let's go. What's the first thing? Magic oil. Please don't explode. Magic oil. It is a oil of disenchantment. Jesus Christ. Uh, do I know what that does? I have to look it up. <laughs> okay. can, can I look it up or does it have multiple properties? Uh... I have I have to look at it before I can tell you anything. Okay. In the moment. <laughs> I knew what it is, but I don't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's this thing? It's not in here. Where's it is. not in here? Potions and oils. Uh, blah. This oil enables the removal of all enchantments and charms placed upon living things and the suppression of such effects on objects. Oh my god, I have a reference error. If the oil is rubbed in a creature, all enchantments and charms on it are immediately removed, rubbed onto objects bearing an enchantment, the magic will be lost for 1d10 plus 20 turns. Uh, can I read it? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah. You can read it. It's fine. Amen. Oil of this and... Okay, I'll read that soon. Uh... Okay, uh, next up is wand. wand. I mean, no, no, never mind. I don't want to do wand yet. I want to do rock second rock. property. Second property. Uh, the second property of the rock is that in addition to being some sort of mount, 
It also has the ability to fly. Jeez. Mount can fly. Holy, sh holy bejesus. Okay, excited discovering that uh, property. Oh, smart goes first. Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, it can fly, can turn ethereal and astral. Whoa. Uh, does the rider turn ethereal and astral with them? You have no idea. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go for a third property on the rock. I've now done two. Mm -hmm. I'm going for third. Third property on the rock. Um, the item is likely cursed. Um, which what? means for a rider that is good aligned, there's a 10% chance on the use that the horse, uh, the, the mount will carry you to some sort of weird different plane and disappear. Holy shit. Is that insta death? Maybe. Depends I on the, the property down as weird good plane rider gets it cut. Oh my god. Wait, so what, how about for us now that we're under level 9? Is it 0% chance? Or do players have alignment? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I need to go murder some people so that I can use a rock. Okay. Uh, I've done three now. I'll do... I'll do... I'll do... Necklace. Fourth property. Wait, how many properties now? One, two, three. Yeah, fourth property. Oh, you failed the fourth property. Fail. This goes up to four. Then I do... Then I do the wand. I go. I don't try to check the thing. I go for a, a new property. There's no more properties. None. Okay. Then I do the wand. I check for the. I create water. Uh, it actually isn't create water. It is a uh, pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. Amen. Takes one charge. Uh, one. That's cool. So I did oil, I got necklace, or I failed necklace, and then uh, I guess I do the rock again. There is no more properties on the rock. No. Holy but Jesus. Okay. Uh, so I waste one identify. Or I guess I use it on the magic oil. Because in character, I don't know that that's all of it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you waste it on the magic oil, which gives you the last sentence um, on the oil, which would be that you can use it to mask magical items. Because if you okay. apply it to a magical item, uh, it does not radiate magic until the oil wears off. Okay. Okay. Not completely. And then I, go, then I go pass out. All right. Moving. You've been out in the woods for a few days. Indeed. He's um, running around training with Kitty. Mm -hmm. I believe more or less realizing his at least all the things he's learned so far have been kind of uh, like finished more or mm -hmm. less he's he's absorbed everything he feels like he could have absorbed there might be some tiny minuscule like perfections he could make within this technique mm -hmm. and still get better with like some tiny amounts but 
he feels like he's hit a wall again mm -hmm. in his in his path. You are quite a proficient archer, you know. You have learned some secrets from your teacher. There is things that you hadn't considered before. Like A, the simplicity of the form, and B that it's not only that arrows matter. Mm -hmm. What else could be something that you have that you are missing about archery? You in here, you know, okay, I need to check my arrows. I need arrows that are properly shaped, that have a perfect balance, because if they don't, then they strike at weird angles accidentally. Uh, uh, I need to be extremely proficient with my just basic movement. It's not about being fancy or anything. It's about being exact in their things. Hmm. What else is there that might make a difference? I think as this question echoes in his mind, Ruben probably drops the training. He's found a nice tree to sit on and cross-legged, eyes closed and meditating on this question. Um, he thinks, thinks and thinks. And I believe maybe the first thing he will think of is now that he's focused on himself so much should he try to focus on his enemies instead find that might be an avenue hmm he thinks just as he learned with the goblins that once you can memorize the movements of a certain creature well enough and understand their habits, it can be much easier to hit them. But can that be applied large scale? He's not sure. Hmm. I think probably realizing on that it's raining and it's wet and it's getting dark. Uh, yeah. Let this be something he's chewing on deep in his mind as he uh, collects Kitty and makes his way back. Mm -hmm. But he keeps thinking about it. Yeah, on your way back to back to town, you think about uh, what is it that allows you to be so much better at hitting uh, goblinoids? It's probably that you understand the pattern of movement, right? Like you can predict more or less how they are dodging. How they are trying to get from A to B. If you, you can, in your, can conjure the mental image of a goblin moving without much effort. Right? Yes. I, I believe so. He, the, any other creature is not at all as vivid as a goblin is mm -hmm. in his mind. So maybe, maybe there's a way to abstract the knowledge and kind of break it down to some simple, some few simple rules, like how do things move, what is necessary for them to move. Hmm. This might be an avenue to learn something. It is. He 
he uh, probably in the back of his mind thinking constantly of now it's an avenue there's definitely other ways but if he went with this way with this path how would one even go about it how would one take something something that he kind of gained by chance when he was so emotionally upset at one point of mm -hmm. that time and he just stalked and like an obsessed person just stalked and preyed on goblins not even attacking just looking at them observing them for days at a time expeditions taking multiple weeks just to looking at a single or group of goblins and just following them and all the hatred burned passion he had at that point funneled into that those actions and some way empowered the the vivid Im image of the goblins he now has in his mind the nigh real like goblin and pub goblin running around in his mind hmm. but to take that what he gained kind of by chance to understand it deeply then abstract it and bring it into a much larger scenario he thinks of how he might even be able to do it yeah and also maybe maybe it's not just about predicting but also about mm, knowing where to strike better Where where to hit in order to uh, deal the most damage or have the most inopportune wound on the body. Like, hmm. Somehow all this all this comes down to movement. He, uh, though Reuven isn't a, well, especially compared to an Uzma type person, you wouldn't say that Reuven would be a especially smart person. Though, from an outside perspective, he's still quite talented, at least some ways in the in the arts of bowmanship. So, mm -hmm. I believe his his mind does stay on this and and rack attempting to find solutions to his problems mm -hmm. like a computer thinking through finding avenues trying to abstract something that he even he un doesn't understand that well yet mm-hmm Well, there is a thought. It's a question where to go from here, but looking at the real. things that are not seems to be the way to go. Hmm. As those it's like trying wow. to build a puzzle and you know oh i have all these pieces but where does this missing piece come from it's not one of the pieces that you already have so you need to find it hmm. As he uh, thinks of this sing 
this this key this something that is missing within his repertoire yeah i think it stays in his mind a, a large percentage of his thought taken up by it mm -hmm. as he makes his way back to his mom yeah he arrives at night and uh, Adelel Osma is asleep in his room. And I guess you go to sleep as well? Yes, I, I do. All right. Let's quickly think about where to go from here. Do we want to... Who's trying to eat his microphone? I'm, I threw my mic back on. Right. Maybe that was me. Yeah, you're trying to eat it for some reason. No. Are you trying to hug it? Oh, did the noise come just now? Yep. Oh, I was just touching the base of the microphone. Just All right. Moving it. Yes. Yeah. That's the sound. Um, do you want to uh, go into learning spree sessions like Osmo go and go study his fourth level stuff i hacking would love to go study all right and roof and go and think about how to uh, how to high mastery how to that's right all right oh yeah by the way i cast stone skin on myself yesterday Mm -hmm. Even though I don't find Ruben. Or I can do it this morning, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna write down stone skin. Usma. Oh, right, because I don't know. 1d4 plus 3? Uh, That's 4 to uh, 7. 1d4 plus 1 per 2 levels. So yeah, 1d4 plus 3. So okay. four two seven yeah. Pretty good. That's not bad, yeah. All right. You're keeping track of that. Yep. Okay. And I try to find Ruben. And Stone Skin him as well. I shake my head a little bit. And. Look around. How many people are there in the tavern room? Two. Uh, DM? Ah, uh, there's two people, sorry. Two people. Mm -hmm. Me and Ruben? Uh, other than you and Ruben and the yeah. barkeeper. Okay. Uh, so I... Eat, have some nice breakfast with Ruben. Uh, Ruben, just, just so you know. Uh, Osma comes down to breakfast and you look at him and it seems like his collar is missing. Hmm. He seems to be grayscaled. Ruben doesn't say anything, but you can see throughout the entire breakfast he's just like looking at you. Uh, I probably pick up. I know that it makes my thing look different. Mm hmm. Uh... Yeah, Ruben, uh, I hope you don't mind too much if you'd be looking like this. It's for your own protection. You also, uh, Osma, you notice that your uh, haptic feeling, like touching things, feels a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Almost like you don't quite touch things, or like. I... It's really weird. It's kind of like uh, if your skin gets like really, really hard, and then you like tap something hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like what? Do you try to grab something, and you already grab it before you really grab it, right? Yeah. Your haptic is somewhat off. Yeah. And then I, maybe realizing that in breakfast, I think is just what the rest of my life is gonna be like. I'm mean, never gonna feel normal again. Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe there'll be uh, 
a easier protection later on. And, uh, yeah. Do you have breakfast? Stone skin Reuven? No, I tight Reuven. Uh, I, uh, I need to do some, some decent amount of studying now. Um, okay. I, uh... <laughs> I pull out some scissors and I reach for Ruben's hair. See, I need a piece of this. Uh, yes, okay. Um, sure. And I snip out uh, a small piece of the ends of Ruben's hair. Oh, it's just like like pearls. Underneath a, a river, uh, a river, moving river, shining in the light, unnaturally. Freaking weird elven air hair. I bet you could sell this for a good amount. Mm. It's a little bit awkward to handle the scissors and the, uh, the hair with mm. my stony fingers. But I think I managed to, uh, sweep him into my component pouch with a little bit of finagling and then i say uh uh i'm probably gonna be out studying for quite some time uh, okay i we can meet again then i i think i want to go do something too I nod. Uh, Ruin, if you uh, run into any trouble, please uh, come to. Um, please come to Tarega. Don't. Don't do anything too risky. He uh, nods. Uh, at that time, when you like cutting his hair, and he like let his hair loose uh, above his head. And he was like looking down. You probably didn't see the expression, but but uh, the outside, the third angle camera probably saw Ruben's Ruben lightly blush or of sorts because I'm assuming elven hair probably a bit different and probably grows less or like much much slower than human hair does, and it's probably a, a much bigger thing in elven culture for someone to touch your hair so hmm. it blushes a bit but uh doesn't doesn't tell U Uzma that uh, just is still looking down just says yes i uh i will i will make sure Uzma. okay uh before you head off let me uh impart this protection that i wanted to uh grant yesterday so i Look around. People usually don't take take to too well when spells are cast in public, so we should probably do this upstairs. Okay. I get up and take Ruben to my room. Sprinkle some diamond dust on him and do the dances. Say say the words. Then his skin becomes. Hard as a rock, rock hard. Ruven, you quite clearly feel like your um, reception of things on your skin gets less. I put my yeah. hand on Ruven's shoulder and say, I, I know it's a little bit tough to get used to, but uh, it, it might save you in a pickle. Okay, Uspar, I I trust you, and he stands up to give you a hug. Mm. Like an awkward hug. Yeah. Yeah, it's awkward as you kind of don't really know how hard you are hugging each other. Mm. Mm. Oh, could you? Hmm. He like seems to think, and then like his eyes trail at at Kitty. Ah. Uh... I don't have the spell prepared today any longer. It just takes a great deal of effort. 
I, I don't even think she would like it in any mm, way. Probably not. Yeah. So Ruven shakes that it is 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 not needed. Uh, you already put the uh, the force field magic on her anyway. And on. Uh, well, Ruben, I should be off. I hope I ho I hope to see you soon again. Uh, okay. I'll be spending quite a bit of time in Tarbega. So uh, I might come by to visit then. No, nope. you're always welcome, Ruben. Don't forget it. Okay. I think Wait. That's... Yeah. I grab the rock and I cast Polymorph Self without turning into anything. Just. Mm -hmm. it active. And mm -hmm. Ruben will. Uh, this is kind of not really in RP, but Ruben will take from so, some of his stuff from uh, the bag building as well. I think he has a water skin, at least one, and mm, then some dry rations. Maybe he'll he'll take some of that. Sure. Uh, I'll give you thirteen. I don't probably need any. Thirteen dry rations. Yep. Or do you want less? I, that's fine. I'm currently wearing my strength belt, so I can wear and get as much as I need. Do you want a water keg? I, no. No. It's no way to put that. Uh, but he'll take his backpack and take two water skins. I don't even see water skins. I don't know where the fuck I put them. I think water you threw skins. all of them away. Water skin. Oh, they're equipped. Okay, I give Ruben one of my water skins. Wah! If I can pipe, I give him. I do give him one of my water skins. Don't you need two a day? Everyone need or just oh, if you're just traveling, you can ha make do with one. Wait, you need two? No, because water skin you just use it to drink. So, uh, you can like fill it and drink it throughout the day, and then you fill it again and drink it. Okay. Throughout. Yeah. yeah. He'll leave his chainmail with you. I don't think you're you're carrying anything other uh, anything else. How much does chainmail weigh? It's forty. Okay. That's that's on the bag. Chain mail, forty. But you also know from Reuben that it's kind of redundant now. Mm -hmm. so he checks himself to make sure he's good, and I think we fare each other goodbye. Yep, I give Ruben a big hug and hope he doesn't get himself killed. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. But uh, before going off flying and stuff, I want to make sure that the polymorph works on the rock the way I want it to work. How do you want it to work? Uh, I want to basically make it so that I can polymorph as much as I want. Uh, yeah. But I don't know how the uh, shard morphing works. Uh, so probably I how you expect it to work. Uh, you have the shard in your hand, and then you start to polymorph, and the polymorph uh, becomes part of you. I because I can cast it without polymorphing, just so that I have the effect of mm -hmm. poly like being able yeah. to. So I do that, mm -hmm. uh, and then I go downstairs, buy some food, and lay it on my desk. Mm -hmm. uh, so that and. Shut the door so that you know if I need to stay the entire day in the room, I can do that comfortably. Uh, and then I polymorph into like I polymorph into Elven Kitty. Uh, with the shard on the table. Uh, well, I cast polymorph on the shard, mm -hmm. and then I hold onto the shard, and now I'm not casting polymorph. I'm just okay. now you polymorph into yeah. it. You polymorph into a cat. Okay, now I attempt to polymorph back into myself. Do you polymorph back into yourself? Okay, I give out a loud sigh of relief. Glad that it works how I wanted it to. Uh, eat like a little bit of the food, but I just ate some time ago, so I'm not super hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, I open up the windows. Uh, I assume I could turn into a bird and fly through. Or is there the, like bars in the nope. way or something? 
you can bird out if you want to. Yep. I bird out into like, I turn into like a falcon or something. Mm -hmm. I think that has 36 movement speed. Probably. Yep. So I make it to Terriga today. I just fly. All right. You zoom over. And arrive in Terriga. No, I wanna, uh, I wanna impress Reynard with it. So I wanna try to find Reynard's shop in Falcon mode and kind of look through, try to see if I, there's a way in somehow. Um, if there's like a window open or something. No. Wait, it's wait. Is it gonna be late night when I make it there? Uh, it's like in, at night as you get there. Yeah. Okay, then never mind. I don't wanna scare him. I go. I just. I don't know, I go into some alley where I hope I don't get seen. Mm -hmm. And then I polymorph back into me. Alright. And then go into the LLL. Uh, the LLL is uh, 72 miles away. Uh, the honey pot. Okay, yeah. That's doable. <laughs> I pay the... Oh, and then I, as I pay the gold, I remember shit. Ruben doesn't have, doesn't have any money on him. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and at that, do you want me to leave the chat? What? As I'm assuming we separate the two timelines? Uh, I think uh -oh. we will end session some time around now anyways, right? Okay. I think that was the point of starting earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, could, I could go for like 40 more minutes. Yeah, so should we go over your spell learning and see how long it would take you? I would like to do so because I think okay. I'm pretty prepared. So then, Ruven, if you have better things to do than sit around and listen to nerds talk about numbers and spell learning. Uh, you know, honestly, kind of don't. I'll, I'll mute myself, but I'll, <laughs> I'll stick around. All right. <laughs> Great. Mm, okay. So, let's go nerd uh, out. I'll what spells are we looking in, for? I'll paste this into Awakening so that you can see, so you don't just have to listen to me because I, mm -hmm. I always forget. So these are the things that I've written down. Uh, and just to make sure that the sense shift and continual light idea works. Uh, I haven't seen like red continual light stones used anywhere else, right? Uh, no. Okay. So that'll be a little smart invention. Okay. Maybe. So you have all of this shit written down where the things are and what Mm -hmm. Um, what school they are. Mm -hmm. Which spells do you need to find? Uh, uh, the things that are N are in the Necromancer book. Okay. So everything that's not N I need to find. All right. So yeah. this is Tome of Magic things. Yep. Uh, but... Do you go spell learning first and then look for where to find these spells or what's your approach? Uh, the first thing I do is learn uh is attempt magic mirror because okay. no the first thing i do is a no yeah magic mirror yeah magic That's mirror no wait fuck i can't oh my god i'm so dumb hmm? i need an extra spell slot never mind it's fine i still do magic mirror and clairvoyance first all right so let's go That's magic mirror. mirror give me your 42 i think oh i think order doesn't matter here right no. Okay, All right, that's six days. Uh, then, oh, it's in the Necromancer book, so I don't even need to write it down. As uh, well, or I don't need to write pages down. If you want to carry the Necromancer book around, then yeah. I do. Okay. Uh, All right. What's the next one? Wait, I need to make sure that I'm getting it because I don't want to forget shit. So I'm just going to mark it down as a learned. Acquired at level seven. Oh, I didn't mark these for the other things. Level seven, level seven. Uh, and then, uh, wait, we'll need to reread the uh, uh, scrying rules at some point. Mm -hmm. But assuming that everything's fine, uh, assuming that I don't get in, that there's not like a crazy insanity check, I'm probably going to be scrying with Magic Mirror on Ruben uh, pretty continually now during like. Oh, that's something that I'll do like every evening. Okay. But we can worry about that later. Yeah, I have to look up Magic yeah. Mirror then. So there's Clairvoyance, which... Jesus Christ, I fail again. You fail. All right, how long does it take you to fail? 
Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll write down here as well. No, never mind. I think it's fine. Fail, success. Uh, I'll do solid, solid fog next. No. How long? Happen. How many days to fail? Oh, how many days? Uh, 46, 42. I think Eight it's just days. three D2 clairvoyance. Third level. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, six days then. Okay. Six days. All right. The uh, next one is solid fog. Solid fog. Uh, you have solid fog, yeah. Okay. That's a necromancer book. Let's say yeah. fail as well. Nope, that's transmute transportation spell. Oh, okay. Fucking saved. Yeah. Uh, Days. One d six plus. No wait, it's in the thing. No, that's not how many pages it takes because it's in the thing, so I don't write it down. How many what, days? What was it meaning to roll for? Oh, days. days. Forty-two. Six days. You like the six days, huh? Mm -hmm. I heckin' love six days. All right, and then uh, Lehman's secure shelter. What? Uh, let me just write it down that I learned it. Uh, solid fog learned at seven. Uh, uh, there's situation two. What else do I have? There's Bumble. That's in the Necromancer book. Uh, yeah, we want to secure shelter. Boom. Success. Save flight transmutation. God bless. Mm. <laughs> uh, 42. Eight days. Uh, wait, I need to optimize my thing. Now I can look at many things at the same time. Uh, Leave and secure shelter seven. Yep. And okay, and those are all the necromancer book things. Uh, I want right continue now. Oh, light maybe. and fumble. Yeah, but those are lower priority. Uh, I think I'll. I think fumble is one of those spells that I might learn later. Mm -hmm. Because it's like a single target thing. Uh, so I think next I want to start rolling for spells that other duders have. All right. What's the first one? Uh, what is the first one? Oh, uh, Ultra Vision. Ultra so Vision. Reynard has a 70% chance, I believe. So it's uh, PHP. No, it's not PHP. Jesus Christ. It's uh, spells and magic. Spells, spells and magic. So uh, that would be a. Oh, that's the wrong page. A level four spell. Yep, level four spells mm. and magic transmutation. Thirty-five percent. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Uh, give oh. me one second. I need to find uh, Reynard. Spice and magic does not have. All right. Uh, do you then, go around and uh, check? Do you check for all of these spells with Reynard first and then start traveling around? Or I think um yeah uh, I'm gonna check for if Reynard has any of the spells that I want, mm -hmm. and then if he, then once I find out like the spells that doesn't, then I'll go out. All right. But I'm not like searching for ultra vision first in all the shops. I'm first searching for Reynard stuff. Yep. What I see uh, in Reynards. So next up is improved invisibility, PHP, uh, illusion. Mm -hmm. That's fail, I think. Uh, yep. Uh, then. Jeez, not really having these spells, my brother. Uh, lesser Gias. I don't know, that's pretty... Wait, that's... Mm -hmm. I don't know if he has any chance. That's spells and magic and uh, enchantment. So, uh, not in school and spells and magic. That is a... Very low chance. You can roll it. I look for chance. No, but it doesn't, yeah, don't even need to look at it. Yeah. Uh, Reynard. Uh, remove curse. PHB. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Uh, yeah. I try to learn it. I'll roll the 42 first for rigor. Uh, wait, you're checking for ultra vision. I thought you're going to look for ultra vision next. Oh no, you. No, no, no you're I'm checking, checking for spells. Right oh, no. Yeah. Okay, I remove uh, so curse. I'm doing remove curse, which is abjuration, but it's part of the. Everyone can get it. The, what is it called? Lesser divination. No, uh, it's. Uh, what's the generalist? It's part of the generalist wizard's mm. kit. Okay. Everyone gets it. And remove curse right. is giga importance. Maybe I can fix the book now. Maybe, if it's cursed. Who knows? Uh, then I guess to make make myself officially, or make the shadow dude officially non-cool, I'll check if Reynard has Dimension Door, which is PHP and uh, mm -hmm. specialist. Uh, yep. Is PHP and what? PHP and uh, transmutation. Okay, yeah. then this so should be it. good enough. So uh, 34, yeah. right? Yep. And then... What was I next rolling for? My 1d100, right? Yep. And then... 1d6 plus... Wait, I... I have my activate windows in the way. Let me just move my thing a little bit here. Uh, like that. Scroll down. 1d6 plus 3. 8 pages. Well, nice. No, that's not ultra vision. That's dimension door. That was level 7. Uh, my thing is bugged. What is this thing? Wait, why am I getting an error for this? Formula om omits adjacent cells. Oh, it does. Whoops. Okay. Uh, book is going to be book four, I think. I think I'm out of pages. Yep, book four takes eight pages. Uh, why is this over here? This is so weird. Excel just put one of my numbers on the left side instead of the right side, how it usually does it. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so that was a success. Uh, then there is Ice Storm, Evocation, PHP. Mm -hmm. uh, my thing is fucked, right? It's 30%. Fuck, that would have been at an evoker. Now I missed it. Not in Reynard. Uh, then Shadow Monsters. Uh, yep, I try Shadow Monsters, which is PHP and Illusion. All right, what is Transmutation opposed by? Abjuration and Necromancy. Okay, then this should be a 50% chance on these. So on the, uh, on like the, okay. Mm -hmm. So that so means that is a success. That is a success. success. I thought it was 30%. Or is 30% uh, only for opposed? Yeah. Okay. I thought opposed was, they just wouldn't have it. Uh, did I get anything else? Improved invisibility, where was that rolled? On improved invisibility, it's a no. Just... <laughs> Might not have to do any. Might not have anything to do with your role. That's a no. That's a no. It's a no. Okay. Uh, so, but he does have ice storm. Um. No. Wait. No. Ice storm. You rolled seven. I rolled forty-eight for ice storm. No, you rolled forty-eight for shadow monster. Oh right. Sorry. 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 I was mixed up. Okay. So he does have shadow monsters. Mm -hmm. And then uh, here's my learn check. Fail. And then it takes me six days to fail. Fail. Uh, Shadow Monsters is not in Reynard. Uh, actually, no, it's not Shadow Monsters is in Reynard. I failed it. There we go. Uh, then 
third level Tome of Magic alteration, mm -hmm. uh, alternate reality. Mm -hmm. I assume that's success. Then I uh, 50, to, yeah. Then I try to learn it. Success for 3D two days, four days. Uh, level three spells. Uh, I'll roll the pages. 1d6 plus two. Seven pages. Does that fit in my other book? Nope. Alternate reality uh, acquired at level seven and pages took seven and book into number four, which didn't auto update, but I'll fix that later. Uh, so that's a success. Uh, I've written down that we've rolled for Reynard having water breathing before, and it's and he does have it. So can I just roll for that to learn? Uh, water breathing is what level? Uh, third level PHP transmutation. I do not have it written down that he has it. Okay, well, do you want to roll for it then? Give me a roll, and if you fail, then cry. Yep, good enough. And then I try to learn it. And then it takes me 3d2 days, 3 days, and 1d6 plus 2, 5. Uh, water breathing, uh, level 7, book number... Oh, this can fill up my book. Nice. Book number 3. Okay. Jeez, now we're starting to have a lot of spells. Uh, have you written down how many days it takes? Mm, 30, 43, 50 days so far. 50 days so far. That's not that bad. Could be worse. Mm. So that was a success. Uh, and then I don't think I'm going to prioritize the level 2 spells yet. I think I want to go check for these Moth and Reynard spells. So Ice Storm improved in this Lesser Chaos and Ultra Vision. Uh, what other uh, specialists are there in Tarega? Or specialist shops? In Tarega, there are a conjurer and a illusionist. Mm. Great. Uh, I presume I can go liquid liquidate the thousand GP gems if I need to. Mm -hmm. No, I'll just convert a couple now. Because hopefully I'm gonna need that money. Uh, uh yep, I go to the illusionist. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would be Tara's shop. No, uh, can I just peruse the books without her getting weird? Uh you will have to ask her for spells. Oh, I didn't think about this. How do I feel about asking for fourth level spells? Uh... Fuck it, dude. I'll just ask. Right. I already the fucking thieves guild is already on my side. Mm -hmm. So I just go up to her and ask if uh, if she has improved invisibility written down somewhere. Oh, that's a big no. Big no. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Uh, Ice Storm? Uh, roll it. Oh, do people just not want to give improved invis? Maybe. I think she should have it then. This that is a, probably a yes, yeah. Uh, yep, I take my time. Uh, wait, how much for this? 400 gold? Uh, yeah. Sound like a fair deal. Yep. I pay the 400 gold. I create a learning copy in case I fail. Uh, ice storm copy, and here's my learn check. Oh, then six. Wait, forty-two days. And one day six plus three pages. Nine pages. Ice storm seven. It is nine book four. Okay. Fuck. If this would have been eight pages. I would have had 69 pages left. Mm, unlucky. unlucky. No. Okay, that's that's big though. That's a good spell. Hmm. Hmm. And I, I mean, if people are weird about improved invis, they're probably going to be weird about lesser gears as well. 
maybe. Uh, so maybe I have my uh, favor for the dude figured out. Uh, and you know, if Reynard doesn't have uh, ultra vision, this bitch doesn't have ultra vision. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be Reynard's son in Terega that other wizard shops looking for alteration spells, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, pretty glad about this, and then or pretty satisfied with where I'm at right now. Uh, to recap, the spells that I still really, really want are Improved Invis, Lesser Gias, and Ultra Vision. Mm -hmm. Well, really, really want is kind of a strong way of saying it. Uh, now, there is a transmuter in Barrios that I am friendly with. Mm -hmm. uh, and I probably just... No, wait, I flew to Terega, so the horses are in low bay. Mm -hmm. So... Uh... No, I'll probably do the same thing once again. Turn into a... One day I'll turn into a falcon. And fly over to Barrios. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask... I'll go chat up Reyna and see if she has Ultravision. Unfortunately, right. some of these spells elude even the greatest of masters. Reyna isn't... Yeah, give me a roll. Hasn't had... Fuck! No, wait, yep. is that good? That's bad. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I ask her if she knows anyone who knows the spell. Or has it written down somewhere. Give me a second. Give me rolls. directions. I don't need rolls. I need... Gareth's transmutations. There it is. Uh, she doesn't have ultra vision. Um, if she knows someone who might have the spell... Um, there is Adria. She's also a transmuter in Barrios. Okay. Adria's the that, wait, bitch was Adria the one that was mean to us? Uh, yeah. That'll be so. pretty bad if I just walk in and ask her for a double spell. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I ask, uh, Reyna, I ask Reyna if she has uh, improved invis. Uh, no. Okay. I go to Adria. I, I open up the door. Uh, I say, Adriana, right? It's a long time. And, uh, Adria, as it's written on the sheet. Oh, sorry. Having a hard uh, time reading. Yeah, my vision's a little bit bad. Uh, hmm. You wouldn't have a fix for that, would you? I'm looking for the spell Ultra Vision. Uh, let me check. She goes and checks. Give me a roll. Uh, boom. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, yep, I do a little bit of reading. I said, yep, seems legit. Uh, for an GP, it sounds like a fair price. Yeah. I assume she agrees. Yeah, you can buy it. Yeah. Yep, I make my learning copy on the off case that I actually. I don't do it off the off case that I fail. I take it back to Reynards to study there because I failed with my clairvoyance. You have to so get a learning copy anyways because you can't take the book, so. Yep. Uh, Ultra Vision copy. Oh, I'll delete the Ice copy. I don't need that anymore. Uh, any chance you have uh, improved invisibility for sale? Huh. You young whippersnappers, nobody has that for sale. Why? It's prohibited. By the law? Hmm. Law. Guild ruling. But what about for adventurers? I feel like we should have like some sort of exemption. Maybe I'll take What's the difference the between an adventurer and someone who's trying to murder the queen? Hmm. Alright. Uh. Okay. I'll. I'll uh, try to arrange a meeting with 
the royal council advisor to the royal emissary or whatever. Advisor What's to there? the royal emissary to the royal council. The what? Advisor to the royal emissary to the royal council. Advisor to the royal emissary to the royal council. And what was mm -hmm. her name? Septima. Septima. Mm -hmm. I'll try to arrange a meeting with Septima. Mm -hmm. When I hang around for a couple of days in town. All right. I'll, uh, I'll remove like, uh, I don't know, some gold. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like 10 gold. So that covers my living expenses for the time. So take a few days in burials. Yep. Okay, let's give you five days in travel time here. And we'll see what comes from this. If we even get to the to this time in your study things. Okay. Or so something we're else here. happens in between. Oh, we can we can continue if you have more spell okay. learning that you want to do. Oh uh, well, I just want to ask her if she has uh, if she can get me access to to improve the invisibility. Uh, the answer is probably no. Okay. Uh, well, that's the only purpose of the visit. Mm -hmm. uh, then after we have the visit, I uh, I turn back into a or I turn into a thing and fly to Terega. Mm -hmm. And I attempt to learn Ultra Vision here in Terega. Mm -hmm. uh, so 42 days and success. 1d6 plus 3 pages. Nice. 7, uh, pages 5, book 4. Uh, and then that was a success. The spells that I don't have that I want are improved in this lesser Gias. And of course, clairvoyance. Uh, I'll write down that Raynard has shadow monsters. Uh, and how, how, how much has this been? Couple of months, three, four, sixty-seven days, I think. It's so like two months. Thirty, thirty, forty-three, fifty, sixty, sixty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Then I will. I will. Uh, we've rolled for Reynard having ride the wind before, right? Or have we not? Uh, I, I, I don't have read it down. I just Reynard. feel like we, have, but maybe we haven't. What level is this? It's second level transmutation, Tome of Magic. Ride the wind? No. Okay, road. I'll roll for him having it. So that's pass. Yep. And then I try to learn it. Jeez, too close. Uh, 2d2. Oh, this feels so good to roll such small dice. And then 1d6 plus 1. 5 pages. Uh, ride the wind. Takes 5 pages of book 4. Probably not going to auto update. Yep, I'll fix that later. Uh. That's a success. And then I guess I'll just try Fumble now, so that if I feel that I can try it from next level, which is in the Necromancer book. Mm -hmm. So I just go 42 days to succeed. And uh, I think that's most of my spells. More about that later. That's a success. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good thing. The things that I'm missing are lesser gears, improved invis. And I haven't come to. Uh, I I don't confidently want continual light and sense shifting. I was really annoyed when uh, I read sense shifting. I thought it was gonna be awesome, but it, I don't know why. <laughs> but sense shifting, you can only uh, edit the sense. Uh, things that happen for spells level one to three. 
and that just kind of fucked. My plan was to use it on uh, stone skin so that you don't look stone skinned. Hmm. That was that was the plan, but evidently it's locked only to effect levels one to three. Unlucky. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, I'm not super sure about continual light either. I feel like it's such a good spell though. I think we haven't really utilized uh, lighting as much as we could have. You know? That's uh, kind of this... Uh, um, people having night vision and stuff. Yeah. But like for the... Uh, for the... When we're in the bandit cave, for example, I think when we're fighting the uh, monsters in the front, if we would have just chucked the dark stone in the back, Hmm. Uh, I think that would have disabled a lot of the art. I think there were a couple of... I don't remember exactly, but I feel like it could have been good. Uh, most but of them I'm were not... skeletons. What? Most of them were skeletons. Oh, the archers as well? Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. But I I feel like... I feel like darkness is pretty good utility. But I think I think that's that. I think that's that for spell learning. Took a total of what did you say? Sixty-eight days. Uh, sixty-seven and eight is seventy-five. Seventy-five days. That didn't take as long as I thought. A bit more than ten weeks. Oh well, it took pretty long. It's like twenty percent of a year. I think I was uh, assuming 25%. So a little bit better. I guess I did really good on the rolls. Yeah. Let's see how this learning list plays out. But what, yeah. what things would stop you? Stop me from learning? If, uh, if I, well, fuck, no, <laughs> I can't scry on Reuven super easy. Or I can't, I guess, uh, we'll have to read that. But if I see that Reuven is in danger, mm -hmm. then probably. Uh, maybe that'd be in really great danger, because I, I have a lot of trust in Reuven's ability, and I, he's stone-skinned, and he's a smart guy, so I'm not... Uh, oh, if like fucking the Antman came and invaded Tarega, that would probably stop my studies. <laughs> but like, yeah, man. I feel like not too much. Yeah, to save Ruga, that would be one. Mm -hmm. I, I can't really think of anything else. Dying, that would probably, if someone came and killed me, I probably wouldn't be studying anymore. Okay. So, uh, let's quickly check out the magic mirror thingy, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That is a crystal ball. I think it says that it just follows the crystal ball rules. I think you need like a thousand GP mirror or something. Blah, 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 blah. What level is this for? Fourth level? Fourth. Magic mirror. I think Duration it just says like one round all the crystal level. ball. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Costs no less than 1000 GP. Do you have enough money to buy one of the things? I can buy a 1,000 GP thing. I, I'm fucking loaded. Uh -huh. I feel like there was some sort of insanity check at some point, but I can't find it here. I think this is repeatedly using a crystal ball, right? Mm. Uh, beyond the periods of frequency, you know that would have also such a rewarding uh, saving throw as a spell. 
a fail saving throw permanently lowers the character's intelligence by one point and drives him insane until healed. Going beyond the periods of, of the frequencies, you know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Viewing period one, chances of locating. Okay. There's gonna be a headache to reread the shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, do you just wanna skip over me getting just say that I get the mirror at some point during? Uh, uh you can get the mirror made. You probably will have to have it made. It's gonna take you. Yep. Um. I get that started as I start my studying, since Magic Mirror was like the first spell that I learned. So it's gonna take you after. nine days after ordering it to for it to be okay. done. Okay. And it was a thousand GP? Yeah. Plus you have to get the other things as well. The other things? The mirror look, the mirror is not harmed by casting a spell by the other material components. The eye of a hawk, an eagle, or even a rock. And nitrate acid, copper, and zinc are used up. Uh, nitric acid, copper, and zinc are, I presume, those are like free? I don't know. Uh, what the, really? They're definitely not free, but probably not expensive. But you will have to buy them and have them on you for you to use it. I need to worry about this shit. Mm, uh, let's quickly check if there's something that is expensive. No, no, no. I think it's just acid, so whatever. Copper and zinc is probably not expensive either. Nope. Um, I. Hawk. Special order. 2.5 GP. Nope. I'll, uh, I'll go buy like a bunch of Hawkeyes. Mm hmm. You have to have them in uh, extra dimensional space or they yep. will expire. Yep. I have Hawkeyes and then I, I put them in like a, I get like a separate uh, like component pouch for them and then I put that pouch into the uh, extra dimensional space. All right. So just for each casting, it's going to cost you free gold. Okay. Collection of. Hawkeyes. Uh, how many do we say that I have now after? I'm ready to spend like, I don't know, like. Uh, um, they are special orders, so you can't just buy 100 of them. Yeah, exactly. This is more like you can probably get four or so and then order some more and then maybe after a while get okay. a bunch I'll more. Get but I'll, I'll, I'll go visit like all of the shops and buy all of their Hawkeyes. Yeah, nobody really has Hawkeyes. Okay, so I have four, and then I, I ask them to get more. Hmm. And then by the time that the mirror gets done, maybe they'll have some more. Hmm. It's probably going to be one eye per week that you can get easily without finding a weird hawk breeder. Okay. Uh... So I guess I I guess my casting is a little bit limited then. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing this, I, I I know this beforehand since we kind of since we're kind of loosey goosey. I think could I have uh, bought Hawkeyes also from Barrios to make sure that I get their stuffs as well? Because uh, I'm waiting a couple of days for the. You are spell learning. Uh, no, in Barrios I'm not. In, in Barrios, I was just chilling. But Barrios is in two months, so. Yep. Oh yeah, sure. So I don't have it now, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, training said what? It was three gold for each. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. But the times I try out some of the spells that I get. Uh. Yep. Do some blinking. Dimension dimension dooring, I mean. <laughs> uh... Uh, as you mentioned oh. before, you will notice that the spell that the wizard in uh, 
thingy that cast mm -hmm. was and not dimension door. No, really. Hmm. Ninety-five percent sure that it's not dimensional. Yep. Uh oh! I actually had one spell question. Mm -hmm. uh, plant growth, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. I really like this idea because it's cool. It's transmutation, growing plants from Perega. I thought it was kind of cool. When I read it again, uh, it seems like it's only really the wizard version of it seems like it's only usable for com combat. Because uh, there is a separate priest version that specifically mm -hmm. says that it has a second use. Uh, so I just want to make sure that uh, I can't use, I, I wouldn't be able to use plant growth to like improve. Uh, like a crop rotation or something. Uh, you could use blend growth mm -hmm. probably to ruin a field. Okay. But, but I think all the like... weird stuff grow out. Yeah, but I couldn't like. Uh... I couldn't use it for good. Uh, it's not specific enough. It just grows everything, and if yep. there's any random grass or trash land on the field as well it's gonna grow as well and fuck over everything basically no mm. unfortunate yeah There's if one of the fields perfect. is uh, uh i don't know what the english expression is but you you have this rotation and then sometimes you have to leave the field empty mm -hmm. uh if one of the fields is left empty and uh, then probably you could plant growth on it and have them just instantly shred everything down. This might help, but other than that. Okay. Just that's more work and nobody really wants to do more work, so eh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do some refining on the, uh, on my Excel algorithms later. Uh, mm -hmm. Double check spell components and stuff. Uh, I assume if I learn something about spell components, we can we can say that I got them, or we can say that I at least attempted to buy the spell components during the. Mm -hmm. meme. Yep. Okay. Good meme. Good meme. And uh, wait a sec. Uh, Let's just do a quick little sum because you keep asking this question, so I just want to. No, wait, I can't do this. Okay, I can do this. Uh, 15, 14, uh, 11. I now know 57 spells. Just 57. Case. If just you manage case. to get to there, then you know 57 spells. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you write down the order in which I learned the things? Yes. Okay. Okay, then we're all set. Okay. Any, any final memes? I don't think so. I think that's that for here. And... Okay. Ruven, you here? Nope, he's uh. I am here. You are. My here. mic was far away. Your mic was far away. Unlucky. I am here. All right. Um. So we have all the spell learning down. So if you want, we can check out what happens. Uh, we can play tomorrow if you have time. I and should, yeah. Go on. High mastery hunting, probably, and or maybe find out if someone finds you before you get to that. Mm. Oh, so it could be a surprise double solo session? <laughs> maybe. Uh, I kind of have it. 
time in mind how things work out. Mm. Ow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, what time tomorrow would you be? Um, are you free? Uh, either normal time or earlier. It's fine. So. I I I can do a uh, normal time maybe earlier like half an hour earlier than normal time okay works works for me okay I'll I'll set it at that then alrighty <laughs> okay love you baby I go sleep now yeah. kiss kiss love you baby Ready. All right. Um, thank you for the session. Yeah. Still, it was fun. And for tomorrow, and I'll, I think I'll keep thinking about things. I th I feel like you have some ideas. Mm. Maybe. Nah. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I think we might have to slightly chat about how we want to do this, uh, like out of character, or how we want to mechanic mechanize it. Yeah, I have some idea. And I have to think about some things until tomorrow. Yeah. So we might like chat in DMs or something. Yeah, maybe. All right. Uh, I'll at least speak to you tomorrow evening then. Mm -hmm. Have a great night. Yeah, you too.